gemacht. Okay, das war... Hi, guys. Um, welcome to the live stream chat where I'm going to wait for my sister, Bethany, to record it with me right here on Messenger. And that's whatever. It's 4 4 now. So, oh, one people's. Hi. Uh, <laughs> as you guys know, this is my first time using a live stream because today is the anniversary of the Titanic. And, okay, now someone's. Okay, I'm just gonna know that. Um, I'm just gonna give a call to my sis. Again, what's up? I'm sort of glad I bet that was gonna be a oh, long people. Gonna be a long list traffic. Come on, sis. Better answer your phone. If she doesn't answer her phone, then I'm gonna start over. Start it. Come on, Beth. Answer the phone. Bethany Louise Dukowski, where on earth are you? Are you in traffic or something? You shouldn't have told me about it. So just. And, uh, um, I'm a messenger right now during live stream chat if you want to come and talk about Titanic. Okay. So, um, I met my sister at Black Eve and she gave me this. They own Stitch necklace and a charm bracelet. I should like it. Anyway. anyway, um, when I was a kid, I used to make this the Titanic. I don't care why for one thing, so I'm just kidding. Keep going on my live stream. And now, oh, great. Sorry, guys, it's just that dust is on my. <coughs> I just love that. Anyway, that's um. I think I've got the Titanic history up on here somewhere. Okay. The first objects were recovered in 1987, and it, it has been possible to cover and preserve a large number of original objects for their expedition to the general public and that none of them were sold to the benefits of any company. 30 seconds was the time that passed since they saw the iceberg and the first impact after this it had it took the crew 60 minutes to launch the first lifeboat to the, into the sea. In total, two hours and 40 minutes was the time that passed between the collusion and the seeking. Michelle and Amon Navartel, they were two brothers and of four and two years, boarding one of the last boat, last boats to leave thanks to their father. Their father died in the shipwreck and the Cappadia they could hardly get along with any anyone as they only spoke as they only spoke French. Fala Jessop is perhaps one of the luckiest women on the face of earth, the earth, basically because she's not 
only survived of the sh- sinking of the ship of the time ta- of the Titanic. Blah, blah, blah. But four years later, she boarded another ship that was also wrecked. It was Britannic, whom she entered w- to work as a nurse. So Violet is the nurse of the Titanic. And now she's the nose of the Britannic. A total on board the Titanic, there were 2,023. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Never try again. In total on board the Titanic, there were 2,223 people between crew and passengers, of which there were 13 honeymoon couples. Only 706 people survived, 492 passengers, and 214 crew members. 333 in her body were recovered from the water. The Titanic measured 28.19 meters in length, 269. 06 in the length and 53.3 meters in the total height. It also had nine decks on a total capacity of more than 2,700 passengers. The expenses of traveling of the Titanic were very diverse. Those, for example, 825 tons of coal were used per day in a forward navigation and for the compulsions of drinking water was 63,000 liters each day of food, the 4,000 fresh eggs, 15,000 bottles of dark beer, 1,000 wine, and more than 340,200 kilos uh, fresh meat tend to stand out. There were also, for example, three thirty-six thousand oranges and apples, and a hundred eight thousand cigarettes. Don't smoke usually. The recovery of the shipwrecks in nineteen eighty-five by the team led by Robert and Michelle have brought the Titanic back to the present. One of the causes of the Titanic liner, the Titanic, that was that there were not enough lifeboats to evacuate all those who were board were on board. The RMS Olympic was the first Olympic class ocean liner designed by two naval engineers. Okay, as you can see, uh, Olympic was copied the original Titanic and. I was thinking maybe the run ideas, and as you know, that the, at the back, the very back, I wish I could zoom in. At the very back, the um, the guy, there was a hole by the submarine soldiers. I don't know yet. Mm. The first people arrived in almost fifteen years to submerge remains to the Titanic were shocked to discover. The rapid deterioration of some of its parts. Through five dives and an international team of deep sea explorers survived the second ship more than a century ago, which lies 3,800 meters below the surface of the Atlantic. The tide. Actually, is this the same one as the... Yeah, it was. Um, I have to skip that with that. And as you can see, here she is, sinking. She looks really tall. I forgot how tall she is. <laughs> um, who was Dorothy Gibson? She was one of the famous survivors. She was one of 700 people who managed to save themselves from the accident. Upon arriving in New York, she began filming her movie. In it, she was wearing the same clothes that covered her when the ship, when the sinking of the ship happened. Unfortunately, 
the other visual document also passed away, but it was also recorded on a single videotape that was fortunately burned in a fire. I knew where that part of it. Real photos of people who made their last trip of the Titanic. So it's Captain Edward, John Smith, the crew members, and um, I think there are some nurses. I mean, you never know when there's going to be a nurses and stuff. It was not until 1985 that the state of their RMS Titanic was discovered. It was for it was on September 1st, 1985, when it was found as the distance of Apollocity, Apollocity, 400 and no, wait, 340 natural miles off the coast of Canada. The official investigation of the Titanic called the sinking that it simply hit an iceberg and sank. The Titanic sank on April 14th. It's 15! Everyone knows it's 15! In the Atlantic, and it's on its way, and on its way to New York. This sounds like it's 15th of April, not 14th of April, 15th of April, that was staying in the ocean. Come on, that's not you answering. Probably still in traffic. Um, the RMS Titanic was a British ocean liner, the largest ship in the world at the time of its construction, which sank on the night of April 14 to 15, 1912, during Tomatoes' voyage to New York. Time it took for the Titanic to sink in total, two hours and 40 minutes, was the time that passed between the collusion and sinking in the water at minus two degrees seven. The city had, sorry, the ship had a capacity of 64 lifeboats with a capacity of 65 people each, but was only carrying 20. Was a 17 year old girl, that's the movie, boards the first passenger class on the RMS Titanic, campaigned by her fiance son from a wealthy family in the US and her mother. No, there, I didn't trust, trust that guy, Cal. Oddly enough, and somewhat unstationally, the truth is that the ship only had two toilets for 700 people traveling in third class. 200 and me- 269 meters and the weight of the Titanic was 52,310 tons. What's that? No other ship is as famous as the Titanic cruise ship. The, chim- the last chimney was added because at that time a ship of that size had a had ha, to have four chimneys and was used for the ventilation of the ship. The Titanic split in two, we already know. The Titanic could have been saved if she was had given the order to hit the Titanic head on. Only two to three sessions would have been flooded and the Titanic would not have sank. So it means that um someone didn't think the Titanic, well, build the Titanic eventually. So, I have no idea whose idea what was that. It is disseminated by that 2030. That was, holy crap, guys. That means the Titanic will be completely disappeared. The remains of the Titanic would have, will have completely disappeared. They found the remains of a ship that was split in half, so the doubts were cleared and it was easier to reconstruct what exactly happened that night. The price of the Titanic was found in 1985 and that resolved one of the greatest doubts if it had been split or not. Uh, you already know the Olympic. 
others. He had 40 year, 43 years of experience at sea, of which 32 were with the same company and 26 traveling with the, in the North Atlantic. He had managed a total of 18 ships during his career. Between built between 1909 and 1912, that means you sink at the three at the age of three. The Titanic was the second of the three ocean liners that made up the Olympic class, along with the Olympic and later the Britannic. It doesn't do anything. Okay. Um, I don't know what's going on. Titanic 4, what? Okay. think that's... Oh, yeah. There's um the VR of the Titanic. I watched Chuck Septiguy, and I was going to say that was really, really awesome effect really really awesome well done and I watched, of course I watched the drain of it and they said that in 2030 Titan will disappear and all the treasures will be fine with that I think that's everything in there yeah that's everything so okay let me just we wall it wall wall Okay, let me show you the footage of Joseph Dawson. Okay, you see guys, he was born 1st September 1888 and died in 15 April 1912, meaning I think he might be um, the crew captain, the crew, was he a crew? Um, oh my god, they found the body. What? Joseph Dawson died in the sinking and his body was recovered. Number 227 and was buried in Fairview Lawn Cemetery, Halifax, Nova Scotia in 8th in May 1912. Oh, so they found his body and then bury him. Oh my god. What about. Yeah. Do they know each other? Oh, it was her idea. I thought that was James Cameron's idea. Um, oh my god, she. Died on her. She died from the age of 105. What? She practically inspired the character of Rose DeWitt Bukayer in James Cameron's 1997 film, Titanic, after the director Reed Wood's autobiography while developing the film. Beatrice Wood died nine days after her 105. Fifth birthday in Ojai, OJ, 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 California. I've never been there. Uh, I'm gonna do this way, did If I'm right. Because I talked about this at work. If I'm right about this, then wish me luck. So I think that's, I think they might be, hold on. I 
I bet they fall in love with each other or something. I don't know. Um, I think Beatrice would do know about it, know about him, and then died when she wants to be with him. That's it's kind of sad, actually. Um, guess Mo, I'll say my heart will go on on Star Maker, and on Monday I'll do Finance Freddy's Security Breach. So, yeah. Anyway, uh... Sorry, my bracelet is gold. And where is my sis? Sis, are you? Where is your hand? If she wasn't, then where on earth is she? Let me try again with this gold. Why is my. Okay, it's just gonna. I have this. Mm -hmm. Come on, Beth, we up. We're gonna do live stream together until one p.m. Well, eleven p.m. But one p.m. is away past one p.m. Maybe. Why is she an instrument? Okay, looks like I've got, we have to wait before she answers the phone. So let's do, I'm gonna read the article. Um, it's eight page new special, and it's from the sun. I think someone made this. 1D, April 15, 1912. The, hello. <laughs> uh, it's how thinks, the real story. The real story, the tight, the sinking of the Titanic is one of the most shocking disasters of the 20th century. Now, it is six after the unsinkable liner went down, claiming 1,517 lives. The ship is being retold in a blockbuster movie. Titanic starring Kate Winslet, who play as Rose, and Leonardo DiCaprio, who play as Jack Dawson, it's released in the UK on January 23rd and um, I forgot. Say, but if you want to answer for about two minutes or so, uh. Guess that sure, but what the hell are you? are you in the traffic? Let me know you in the traffic. If you are, then... <laughs> but I'm not mad at you. I'm just going to do a live stream if you want to join in. It's up to you because Messenger on this laptop if you want to join in. I could get for warm message females. What's that message? And um, what was that? Oh, yeah. The terrifying tale of the men, women, and children left to drown to the striking liner after it sunk in an, ice, an iceberg on its way to New York still grips the imagination after all these years. But <gasps> Excuse me, sorry. But it was writer, Waters Lord, fan sections with the famous ship and what happened on the fateful night in 1912, which is inspired by a generation of Titanic's theoristics. His 1956 book, Night to Remember, 
large worldwide interest and a much praised movie adaption. Lord's movie and a detailed account of those last few hours aboard the world's most lavish liners has been adapted for the sun by Mark Bonus. Bonus? Bonus? I think it says bonus. It recounts the extraordinary behavior of those who survived and those who died on, the, on that heuristic maiden forage. Sorry, guys, my, my sister will end my messenger. Uh, wait, where am I? Where am I at? I think I'm in this one. Okay. Uh, I see the pictures of Captain Smith, Frederick Flint, third class birth, first class in commodication. Uh, the Doom Ship Spectacular Main Staircase and Passengers Across the I think it's the Lifeboat Deck. Yeah, I think it's the Lifeboat Deck. I mean, I love the details of it. But I have a I've been made baby version of it. <laughs> I mean, what else again? Well, it's kind of very fun. My teacher says, don't worry, don't worry, you know yourself out. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Um, high in the crow's nest of the white line starliner Titanic, look out, Patrick Flint peered into a desolate night sky. It was calm, clear, and virtually cold. There was no moon, but the cloudless sky face blazed with stars. So the thing is, they can't see the iceberg. I bet that's what happens. Come on, guys. Give me a chat. Give me a chat if I'm right. And uh, also comment if you want to see. Wait, what does that do? All right, guys, I'm just put the questions on it. Um, oh, how do I get rid of that? And boom. Okay, I think it's Pauline. Okay, I'm just gonna read this again. Uh, the Atlantic was like a published plate. People later said they had never seen it so smooth. It was the fifth night of the Titanic's maiden voyage to New York, and it was already clear that she was not the only largest, but also the most glamorous ship in the world. Well, I like the ship, by the way. What just happened? Did I miss it? Oh no, I missed it. Oh, hold on. Uh, God. Oh my God. Maybe. Yeah, what is. Uh, excuse me. Sorry, guys, I was been working all day, and it's my holiday, the fifteenth of April. So it is the first of the Titan. I guess you guys already know. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Sorry, it's just this thing. Um, but all that splendor was another world to. Patrick Flint. He was one of the 
He was one of six lookouts carried by the Titanic, and they didn't worry about such things. They were the eyes of the ship, and on this particular night flight, had been warned to watch specially for icebergs. Swatch was almost over, and still there was nothing unusual. Just the night, the stars and the bitting cold as the Titanic raced across the calm black sea at 22 and a half knots. Okay, I didn't know that. It was almost 11.40 p.m. on Sunday, April 14, 1912. Suddenly, Flint saw something directly ahead, even darker in the darkness. I the darkness, my bad, not in the darkness. Okay, uh, what was I? Oh, yeah. At first, it was small, but every second it grew larger and closer. He banged the bell and rang the bridge. Iceberg, ahead, shouted Flint. Thank you, a knowledge for the voice. With curiosity, detach. Court? Courtesy. Nothing more was said. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm waiting for you guys to say yes for history, because that's what I guess for history. For the next 37 seconds, Flint and his colleague, Reginald Lee, stood quietly side by side watching the ice draw near. Now they were almost on top of it, and both men braced themselves for a crash. Then miraculously, the boat began to swing to port, and at the last second, st- the stern shot into the clear, and the ice glided swiftly by. It looked like Flint, like a Close shave. Meanwhile, down below the de- down below in the first class dining saloon on D deck, uh, four member four of the members of the Titanic's crew were sitting around one of the tables. The last diner had long since departed, and now the big white chocolate beamer was empty apart from this single group. Ask Google. She's my friend. She knows everything. What is a choco bean for the Titanic? Was it? I said choco. That's choca. Um, a splendid space for the first class passengers to mingle after supper and enjoy. Osrita. Oh. Uh, I thought that was the name of the magician. <laughs> oh, come on, my dog's in fun. Anyway. Uh, what was that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was right there. As they sat there talking, a faint grinning jar seemed to come from somewhere deep inside the, sh- the ship. It was not much, but enough to break the conversation and rattle the silver that was set for breakfast in the next morning. The passengers in their cabins felt the jar too and tried to connect it with something familiar. Marguerite Forledger, a young Swiss woman, a girl woke up with a start Half asleep, she thought the boat was making a sloppy landing, and she said to herself, Isn't it funny we're landing? Major Arthur Godfrey Perchen, starting to undress for the night, thought it was like a heavy wave striking the ship. Mrs. Jake Stewart was sitting on the edge of the bed when the ship seemed to roll over a thousand marbles. To Lady Cosmo Duff Gordon, looking up from the joint, it seems as though somebody had drawn up giant a giant finger along the side of the ship. It seems stronger than the 
Then to others, Mrs. Albert Caldwell picture a large dog that had a baby kitten in its mouth and was shaking it. Uh, what? Hmm. Hmm, sorry. Maybe I should have taken it. I'm not giving up. Okay. Uh, it's same. Oh wait, or oh, bit up. Da, ba, ba, ba. Mrs. Orch's basement related to when she was caught in the San Francisco earthquake. While Mrs. E. D. Appleton notices an unpleasant ripping sound, what like somebody tearing a long strip of calico. And Mrs. John Jacob Astor thought. It was a misshaped shop in the kitchen. Some of the passengers already knew the answer, though. Mr. and Mrs. George A. Harder, a young honeymoon couple down in cabin E50, were still awake when they heard a dull thump for the ship, felt the ship quiver, and then experienced a sort of rumbling, scrappy noises. Along the ship side, Mr. Harder pop, hopped out of bed and ran to the porthole. As he looked through the glass, he saw a wall of ice glade by. I mean, that's kind of... I'm not going to say, that's kind of creepy. Who's... Who's that? I think it's some Mother Nature or something like that. <laughs> It doesn't make myself tired. <laughs> but the harders, most of the passengers were in bed when the jar came out came, but a few shipboard diehards were still up as usual as usual. Most were in the first class smoking room on a deck. Buried in a leather armchair, Spencer V. Silverthorne, a young buyer of for a new chance department store in St. Louis, browsed through a new bestseller. Not so far away, Lucius P. Smith, I think that's Captain Edward Smith's cousin, or someone else, I don't know, uh, struggled gamely through the lintronetic problems of a bridge game with Three freshmen. At another table, the ship's young set were enjoying a somewhat noisier game of bridge and a nightcap. Most of the group stuck up to highballs. Who's that there, Wayne? Who's that there? Type those. Who's that there? Type those. <laughs> Horst Wollner, son of the English sculptor took a hot whiskey and water. Lieutenant Hoken Borschenstrom Sturdivasen, a young Swedish military attached, chose a hot lemonade. Nine hour taste of that. When I got a bit. Oh God, sake. It's all my life. It's all my life. It's tarted or something. Oh, well, I uh, let you last part of it. Uh, they sat playing cards and laughing when suddenly they came that grinning jar. In an instant, the smoky wounds do it, and Mr. Silverthorn were on their feet and out onto the deck. They were just in time to see the iceberg scrapping along the starboard side. Okay, I see the picture. Second officer, Light Toller, called for the women and children. He's the one who told Captain Smith, and he said he agrees, and he told everyone about who's going first. And unfortunately, man doesn't like it, and uh, that's why he doesn't like it. I honestly have no idea what it does that. When I want to click it, does it do anything? Oh. I thought 
I thought I deleted it. <laughs> uh, I think it's loaded. It might be loaded. Just press yes for history or no for history of the Titanic. Um, well, uh, yeah. As it slid by, they watched chunk of ice breaking and dumping off into the water. In another moment, it faded into the darkness. The excitement soon it disappeared. The Titanic seemed as solid as ever, and it was too richly called to stay outside any longer. Slowly, the group built, filed back, but as the last man slammed the door, he thought the entrance was stopping. He was right. Up at the bridge, First Officer William M. Modal, I think that's the name, had just turned the handle all the way to stop, but it was clearly too late. As the greeting's noises died away, Captain Edward J. Smith, the ship's commander, rushed on to the bridge from his cabin. There were a few quick words. Mr. Mojo, what's that? What was that? And I spoke, sir. I went hard starboard and reversed the entrance, but it was too close. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do any more. About 10 miles, 3rd Officer Charles Victor Groups stood on the bridge on the, of the Leyland Liner Californian bound from London to Boston. Sorry, my eye. Supposedly, uh, the dust flew to my eye or something like that. I have no idea. Um, the plodding 6,000 tonner had been stopped since 10.30 p.m. Completely blocked by drifting ice at about 10, oh, 10, 11, 10 p.m., groups noticed the lights of another ship racing up from the east of the starboard sign side. A blaze of deck light showed she was large passage of liner. Is it a liner? Yeah, liner. It's like the the pages is blue. As you can see, or not, or not. Sorry. Um. Then, at about eleven forty p.m., he saw the big ship suddenly stop and put out most of her lights. This doesn't surprise groups very much, as he knew that you should put lights out at midnight to encourage the passengers to light to turn in. It never occurred to him that perhaps the lights were still on and that she had fared sharply to port. Almost as if nothing had happened, Look Athley resumed his watch aboard Titanic. Mrs. Oster lay back in her bed and Lieutenant Jeff Benson returned to his hot lemonade, although the long white corridors that led to the staterooms came only the rumors of people chatting in their cabins, the distant slams of doors, and the occasional clicks of unhurried heels, heels, all the usual sounds of a liner at night. Everything seemed perfectly normal, yet not quite. For as the Titanic glided, to a stop, it was suddenly the silence that stirred the passengers far more than any jolt. But it was hard to learn anything. I don't know, sir, but I don't suppose it's much. Was the typical answer to all questions. Mrs. Arthur Wireson had somewhat better results. Then talk about, there's talk of an iceberg, man explained Stuart Bishop, and they have stopped not to run it over. Mrs. Ryerson pondered to what to do. Her husband was having his first good sleep since the first, since the start of the trip, and she hated to wake him. Don't tell me she's gonna abandon him, let me see. Uh do, do, do. outside she was only a calm, beautiful night, and so decided to let him sleep. Oh my god. So let me get this straight. She left her husband there to let him sleep because he's not a morning person. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I know I didn't mean to laugh. Oh my god. What the hell? Oh my god. 
left her husband to sleep. Meanwhile, up on deck, there were li- was there was a little fun to be seen. Nor was there any sign of danger. It was nobody called that most of the people went inside again. Measuring together, they made a curio- curious picture. Their dress was an odd mixture of bad robes, evening clothes, fur coats, and nor- turtleneck sweaters. Oh, she'll be a few hours and we'll be on our way again, a steward eventually explained to first-class passengers. One such passenger, Pierre Daly, Daly? I think it's Daly, heard one young lady tell another, Oh, come and let's see the bird. Oh, we have never seen one before. And in the second class smoking room, somebody featurously asked whether he could get some eyes from the bug for his highball. What is this eyes highball? What's I highball? Oh. Okay, you can't mix the alcohol and own alcohol at the same time. Probably their choice. I better do. He could indeed what for when the Titanic pushed by several tons of ice crumbled off and landed on the starboard well deck. This was third class recreation space and the ice was soon discovered by storage passengers coming up to investigate. From her cabin window on B deck, Mrs. Natalie Wick watched them playfully throwing chunks off at each other. Possessions of the ice didn't remain a third class monopoly for long and soon first class passengers and crewmen were collecting chunks as surveyors. So, let me get this right. When they drink, they know something's wrong, and they know that the iceberg caused the sinking of the Titanic ship, and they, it's their fault to not evacuate. Ugh. Let me just... Yep. Just, sorry, guys. Just relax my legs for a bit. Oh... Oh, my knee just cracked. <laughs> okay, okay, I can see there. Um, but by eleven fifty p.m., ten minutes after the conclusion, w- there was far more disturbing evidence that all was not as it should be. Strange things could be seen and heard in the first six of the Titanic sixteen watertight compartments. Lamp trooper Samuel Hemming lying off duty in his bunk. Heard a curious hissing sound coming from the compartment's closet to the boat. He jumped up, went as far forward as he could, and discovered it was air escaping from where the anchor chains were stored. Wait, so let me get started. By the time I sink, the anchor's still there? How many were in there? We do we see the anchors on the Titanic? Or oh, it was not on the Titanic, I don't know. That's a spawning. No, she's not. Hold on guys, let me um give her a call. Okay, she she didn't answer, but she heard my message, so Gotta be a while. Whoop la 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 la. Hello. Bell, I'm sorry, Hi. streaming. I'm in stream. Where are I? You're on stream. Yeah, I'm on stream. Look. I'm on live stream. See? Anybody see or said anything? Uh. No, yet. I think they won. Um, when I was, I think my idea was like recording and 
posted the videos and see if they believe the history of it or not. Yeah, I'll be back. I'm just going to pop to the toilet because I feel like I'm going to wet myself. <laughs> ben, it's recording. Can't see you that loud. Okay. <laughs> I'm not saying anything else. <laughs> <coughs> so, other well, guys, um, my sister is on WhatsApp now. I think I should like uh close this a bit. I just took my drink and I was dosing as hell with that. Um, what was I when this continued with you? Um, could and discover it was. Far below, yeah. water pouring in. Fast. Hello. Hello. Awesome. Do not mention. Do not mention. Do not mention. I want. I want all. Okay. Good. 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 <laughs> Just. Bye. Bye. You want to say hello to Cam? You're all right, Are you wearing it? What? Are you wearing your presents? Yes, I am. Bro, she's already wearing them, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it, thanks. I like it. Cool. Before I even gave her the presents, like, she was like, is it this? Is it that? Like, <laughs> is it Frozen? Is it a video game? She was like guessing on what it is. I went, eh, you love it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, what was that? Yeah, far below, words pouring in. So bad. bad, you didn't realize today is the anniversary of the Titanic. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just this people. Oh, sorry. Say hello to my sisters, everyone. What are the Titanic? The anniversary of when oh, yeah, they done a film uh, from the States telling you about the, what they pieced together about the journey. And somebody was passed a note to watch out for icebergs and it wasn't passed on to the captain. Oh. Anyway. Uh, Far below, water was pouring in so fast that air washed in under tremendous pressure. Pressure. Storage passenger Carl Johnson had even more disturbing experience in the third compartment. This contained the cheapest passenger commodation, lowest in the ship and closest to the boat. As Johnson got up to see what was causing a mild commotion outside his cabin, water seeped in underwater and around his feet. He decided to dress, and by the time his clothes were on, the water were, was over his shoes. Okay, I think uh, Johnson doesn't like his shoes to get wet. And stuff, and my sister's just moving the call. And <laughs> why is she bad? I can't hear you when you say it. What's going on? I'm just Um, I almost got paintballed. A what? Paintballed. Oh, oh okay. Here's some Percy Barker baby farewells. In the ship's final moments. Oh, I, I think he's a yeah. uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you should turn your camera off. <laughs> All 
I still know people see it and there's no thumbs up. I was thinking maybe I should like in the morning or so. Uh, do nearby steward passenger Daniel Buckley was a little slower to react, and when he finally jumped out of his bunk, he splashed into water up to his ankles. Five postal workers working in the fourth compartment were met much wetter, and within five minutes, water was swishing around their knees. I was thinking maybe the ocean was getting slower than the Titanic was going like this. Wait, does the Titanic go like this or like this? I have no idea. Let me see the back. It does lean forward. Okay, (laughs) thank you. It was like that because my horses are getting behind me. He starts going down level, so when he stuck on so much water because it's it hit at the front, the front's going down, and then it snaps in half when the, the front part's flooded, and then the back goes down a second. That is. The bow. The bow and the stern. Also, there was animals on the ship as well. Yeah, I guess this. Get this. 60 year old boys can't go on board. Wait. Uh-huh. Do you hear? Because they say. Oh, Stowaway. Um. Stowaway. Somebody that wasn't allowed on board. Like men. I see, um, at the top of the stairs, they found a married couple peering fa- down at them. Mr. and Mrs. Norman Capel Chambers of New York had been attracted by the noises while returning for the deck. They stood for the clerks choking about the silky baggage and wondering about what might be in the letters. But at no point could be the Campbell Chambers bring themselves to believe that anything they saw was really dangerous. Up on the bridge, Captain Smith tried to piece the picture together. No one was better equipped to do it. After 38 years survived with White Star, he was more than just a safe senior captain on the line. He was a bearded father figure worshipped by crew and passengers alike. They loved everything about him, especially his wonderful combination of firmness and ability. He was a natural leader and which on which in the wheelhouse or uh, after the crash, he paused on long only long enough to visit the starboard wing of the bridge to see if the iceberg was still in sight. First officer Murdoch and fourth officer Boxhall. Bo- Box. <laughs> Sounded like <a> butthole. <laughs> Oh god, my eyes got watching. I'm trying along at four moments. The three officers merely stood peering into from the darkness. So now on, from then on, all was business. Captain Smith set box hall. I need to stop saying box hall. One of the first. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> On a fast expression, and he simply turned to as far as he could see there was no sign of damage. Still worried, the captain stepped down for the competitor with the orders. 
get him to sell the ship. But there was no need. Comparator J. Hutchinson was soon rushing up and gasping. She was making water fast. A call had already been sent up for Thomas Andrews, managing director of Holland and Wolf Shipyard. As the Titanic's builder, Andrew, was making the maiden footage to iron out any kinks of this in the ship. If anybody could figure out the situation, here was the man. So far that night, his problems had been topical. Trouble with the restaurant gallery. Gailey? Gailey? There's a wire of it. Hard pressed, the color of the pebbles dashing too dark. Too many screws. All on all the stater, stateroom hatch, hat hooks. Completely absorbed in his work. Andrews scarcely noticed the jar and stirred from his notes only when he got Captain Smith's message that he was needed on the bridge. In a few minutes, Andrews and Smith were making their own tour and thundering their way through the throng of passengers standing around. Everybody studied the two fate men's faces for some sign of good news or bad. Nobody could detect any clue. Down below, the steerage passengers in the third class were slowly working their way up and carrying boxes and bags and even trunks. These people didn't need to be told there was trouble. To those burdened, Far below the crash was no fate greeting jar. It was tremendous noises that sent them tumbling out of bed. Far above a A deck, second class passenger Lawrence Bess Beasley noticed a curious thing. As he started below to check his cabin, he felt certain the stairs weren't quite white. Right. He seemed level, and yet his feet didn't fall where they should. Somehow they strayed forward off balance as though the steps were tilted down towards the bow. Nearby, Andrews and Captain Smith did some fast figuring water in the fore peak. Number one hold, number two hold mail room, boiler room, number six and boiler room, number five put together the fact showed a 300 feet gash with the first five compartments hopelessly flooded. What does this mean? Thomas Andrews quietly explained the Titanic could float with only if any two of her 16 watertight compartments flooded. She could float with any three of her first five compartments flooded. She could even float with her first four compartments gone, but she could not float with all five compartments full. It was methodical certainty, poor and simple. There was no way out, but it was still a shock. After all, the Titanic was considered unsinkable and it was hard to face, especially hard for Captain Smith. He was stood on the bridge of a liner twice as big and twice as safe as anything built before, and he was being told it could not float. At 12.05 a.m., 25 minutes after the greeting jar, Captain Smith ordered Officer Chief Officer Wilde to uncover the lifeboats. In the door of the, co- of the cook's quarters, whack it open against the iron coat, <laughs> coat of Assistant Baker Charles Burgess. He woke up with a start and stared at second steward George Dodd standing in the doorway. Okay. I think I should tell my sister about this. Yo, Beth! Oh, yes! Okay, remember Jack and Rose in Titanic, yeah? Yeah. They're not real. I know. How do you know? 
I searched it up. You do you do know that Jack Dawson was not actually him, and now he's Joseph Dawson. I think it's a. Basically, they just added the characters just to put in the movie to make it more interesting. Like it should have been more realistic. Yeah, James Cameron shouldn't done this. I think he was going to tell everyone the story about it in the could see. Um, what's it? There is another movie of the Titanic, but it's a bit dumb, you see. Are you talking about Titanic 666? Don't know, but um, <laughs> I think it's Titanic 2, where Jack basically Beth. was found in the ice cube and then brought on like, this new boat thing and got melted and he survived, like... How? Beth, according to history, yeah. this says that the body of the ti- the bodies disappeared when the Titanic was down there. Just like, well, probably from the top or at the bottom, I would probably say like some... Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. They've probably been eating. <laughs> probably been. It does happen, like. Yeah. Not with a fish. Some fishes eat other fish. Huh. Do you know that Beatrice Wood was a survivor and told everyone the story about what happened? No. Did you know? I bet she. Oh, oh, the one that had an interview. Before she died at the age of 105, yeah. Yeah, 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 I said it on TikTok. The one that's the red room being to the Yeah. And then there was this one where she was a little girl on the uh, Titanic. And, like, uh, her dad got killed because he had to be left behind. And then, like, uh, she went with her mum. But then, I don't know, but I think uh, she lost her mum or something like that. Yeah. Uh, In a film, James Cameron's film, he told everyone mixed up, like, uh, we don't know what happened to her dad, so we got to pretend that he's run away with money and never be seen again. You don't say that, right? Probably. I think so. I bet he... I bet James... I was thinking, James Cameron doesn't want everyone to know about it until today. That way now. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I mean... The filmmakers can't keep secrets. How come he wants to keep a secret? Do you think Beatrice Wood? Do you think Beatrice Wood wants to keep a secret? There'd be billions and billions of pounds paid out to any surviving relatives of anybody from the Titanic. That prove that it was negligence. And not just an accident. Why are you doing? <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, not more than enough on there. <laughs> um, what was I? What was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, normally, a Bota Jolly Man Dodd looked serious as he called. Get up, lads. We're seeking. <laughs> You know what, someone should put the explanation mark in case they know what's going on. <laughs> uh, most of the men were laughing and joking when Dodd burst in shouted, Get up, every... Get every man up. Don't let every man stay here. Are you okay? I was reading this paper article. 
Can you throw a rock as if you're angry because somebody took your candy? <laughs> Not fair. Um, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. I'm not doing your profession. Oh god, I got pottery in my eye. The wise cracks that greeted the first warden first faded, and the crew began tumbling out of their berth. Berth. Bunch. Bunch. The B E R T H S. Don't know what it means. B E R T H S. Bertas, Bertas. Okay, never mind. Um, an instant later, the boat swain appeared and gave order, "Turn out, fellows! You haven't half an hour to live." That is from Mister Andrews. Keep it to yourselves and let no one know. I mean, everyone's gonna knew about it. Before they start panicking, that's that's not good for everyone to start panicking. Oh, we're gonna die. <laughs> All respect to the yeah. dead people. Nuffy, I remember that I downloaded the game called It's the Titanic. I survived. I let the Titanic survive, and the game will show you when you hit the iceberg and Titanic sinks, like a movie. There is one on that box. Yeah. No, yeah, I remember that I tried to play it, but it's getting laggy. Like, I was thinking like, maybe it calls for the network or something. I don't know. Oh, I mean, you should play your Roblox. Yeah. Like, I don't know when. Uh, Surely no one knew in the first class smoking room. The bridge game was going for a blast again. Lieutenant Stifferson was still sipping in his his hot lemonade. You're in hot lemonade, Beth. Hot lemonade. <laughs> she didn't know. <laughs> hot lemonade. I was thinking maybe if someone was. I was thinking maybe someone's feel a bit seasick. Oh, and Oh, what's that menu I sent you that they used to have for dinner? Oh, yeah, I forgot to show everyone that. Was it on Messenger? Yeah, I'm just having a look now. Uh, Hi, Dad. What? I still have Jesse's uh, email. Oh. Some sweet, sexy stuff going on on there. Yeah. So, where was it? Where are you? I was gonna uh, <laughs> cancel the access on the email when it kept popped up as permission. Mm. Permission for what? For this person to use the email. Okay, found it. I found it. Is that a soul city? Uh, what was that? Some eliminated. Data. Uh, Beth? Huh? Are we in the menu where there's no hot lemonade? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Iced tea. Who said they want to have hot lemonade? Okay. Uh, oh, what was it? Oh, yeah. And another hint was being dealt when a ship off ship's officer suddenly appeared at the door. Men, get on your life belts. There's trouble ahead. Two decks below, Mrs. Lucian Smith tried to way in for Mr. Smith to finish exploring, had gone back to sleep. Sweet. 
No, but I read the first article and they said that some the lady left her husband to sleep. I mean, that's called death of the Titanic when he he wasn't a waking up person. He, he just like yeah. yeah. So what's the peace, sleepy man? Here we are. Here we are. So we're the third class. Oatmeal, porridge, and milk for breakfast. Yeah. Smoked herrings, jacket, potatoes, ham, and eggs. Um, fresh bread and butter. I love Marmalade, fresh bread. Swedish bread. Tea and coffee. That's for breakfast. And then for dinner, rice soup. Ew. Who's that? Everybody likes soup. Wasn't April 14, 1912, when the Titanic sank? Like, one day later. I'll be throwing them. Fresh bread and cabin biscuits, roast beef, brown gravy. Isn't gravy brown anyway? Uh, sweet corn. Boiled potatoes, plum pudding, and sweet sauce and fruit. For tea, cold meat, cheese, pickles, fresh bread, and butter. Stewed figs and rice tea. Supper, gruel, cabin biscuits, and cheese. Ooh. Yeah, what is that? It's lost like, um... It's like a very thick uh, porridge type thing. Oh, yeah. Gruel. Let's just say that someone made the cafe named Titanic and they put the ingredients from the Titanic grill. And I never tried it. So what else did? April 14th, 1912. So that's one day before the Titanic sink. Yeah. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, Suddenly, the light snapped on, and she saw her husband standing by the bed, smiling down at her. Literally, he explained, we are in north and have struck an iceberg. It does not amount to anything, but will probably delay us a day getting into New York. However, as a matter of form, the captain has ordered all ladies on deck. And so it went, no bells or sirens, no general alarm. I was thinking maybe uh, the iceberg caused it because it's caused the damage of the ice Titanic, I think. Yeah. Um, but all over uh, the... Was... Wasn't that? Sorry. So you're saying... <laughs> there were 12 dogs on the Titanic. Well, I was... The die the of the Titanic is in the back, so it was like two pages left. Well, three. I know the down died. Yeah. Love it. When I watched the VR, the chat steps guy, uh, there was only one dog survive. And he was lonely. So the mother, the daughter, and the baby taking care of him because he was Aww. lonely. I think they named him um, Ty? Um, like short first of Titanic. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> if it is, guys, let us know in the comments. Because um, we know that you guys have history of the Titanic and we barely know what it said. Mom, plus watched it of the Titanic said she's cried and she didn't know that Jack Dawson Rose doesn't exist because she barely remembers during that. Am I right, Beth? Yep. Well, I think she'll met, she's met them now. Just imagine she's in a Titanic in heaven. <laughs> She never been to the ship, guys. If I was for a tiny part, you go. Within the first. Well, I watched Titanic two, and they say that the iceberg was moving with the tsunami, so that's explained why there's an iceberg in the Atlantic. And yeah, and it's really terrifying, Beth. Um, remember the fire of the ship. In the movie of the Titanic 2, they did that and it was amazing and I was kind of feel bad for people because there's a second one come and no one survived, only 
one or seven people survive and let's just say the lifeboat isn't good and destroyed it from the iceberg tsunami. Do you know how big it is? How big? Bigger than a Titanic. Yeah, there's only three small dogs that survive. Yes, like I said. Um, Pomeranians and a pecking knees. Pecking knees. Pecking knees. <laughs> what? Yeah, one of those poodle looking dogs. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, what was I? But all over the Titanic, in one way or another, the word was passed. Stuart burst up put the doors in the second class cabin, shouted ev- to everybody to get on deck with light belts on. In first class, it was more polite to knock, but some of the passengers were proving difficult. Stuart Henry Samuel's edges. That's a funny last name, edges. Do you want to say bad edges? Edges. <laughs> Sorry, I'll keep... It was barking from another dog from outside. Uh, found one door locked when he knocked loudly with both hands. A man inside acts suspiciously. What is it? Try, after trying to explain and pleading some more and still gain no luck, he passed on to the next cabin. In another part of the ship, a locked door raised a different problem. It was jammed and some passengers broke it down to release a man inside. At this point, a steward arrived threatening to everybody arrested for damaging company property but the Titanic which is New York. Hold on. We thought Titanic didn't reach tight the new to New York. How far long was that? Uh, but the Titanic reached New York. Uh, for to arrest everybody for damaging the company property by the Titanic reached New York. Arresting. I was just saying that that. Uh, be arrested by, by, you know, uh, by the time they reach there. Ah. But they never reach there. I was thinking maybe the passengers were scared and didn't hear the orders and stuff. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Uh, two, no two people. Uh-huh. I was letting all the boss people off first. Uh, no two people seem to have the same reaction. The things people took with them showed how they felt. A dwarf diker handed his wife a small schedule containing two gold watches, two diamond rings, a sapphire necklace like in the movie, and 200 Swedish crowns. That's? Yeah. That's cost of money? Huh. They, yeah, they passed on their, their um, what's the name, belongings. Okay. Their belongings. Um, their trophy possessions, jewelry and money and that. Their wealth. Stuart Collette, a young theological student traveling second class, took the Bible. He promised his brother he would carry, he will always carry until they met again. Lord Beasley stuffed his pocket with the books he had been reading in bed. <laughs> Lucky guy, in case he needs to calm down for the icebergs. <laughs> Uh, Norman Campbell Chambers pocketed a revolver and a compass. Stuart Johnson stuck 
four oranges under his blouse. <laughs> Stuffed two four oranges in his blouse. Just imagine the, the orange fell into the water and disappeared like everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he likes always just like eat it or make juices to drink. <laughs> Mrs. Dickinson Bishop left behind eleven thousand dollars worth about oh my god, one hundred thousand to dollars today. Oh wait, it's pounds, my bad. One thousand pounds one hundred thousand pounds today in jewelry. And have sent her husband back for her muff. How much money do people want before the Titanic sink? Oh my god. Um, doo -doo -doo. Major Arthur Putchin looked at the tin box on the table in his cabin. Inside were $200,000 in bonds and one hundred thousand dollars in a perfect stocked three hundred thousand dollars in the first what dollars then worth oh my god two hundred two point seven million pounds today <laughs> do you hear that two point seven pound million pound Oh my god. He thought he thought long and hard about it as he put on his heavy heavy jacket. Now his mind was made up. Very wealthy people. Yeah. Uh he thought long and hard about it as he put on his heavy jacket. Now his mind was made up. He slammed the door, leaving behind the tin box on the table. Another minute he was back. Quickly picked up a good luck pin and three oranges. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, the captain did say leave everything you had and go on board. <laughs> Don't take everything and then go on board. Did I? British people, they probably just don't want to keep their jaw in. They just. Uh, they well, it was, yeah. uh, it was well, but with in jewelry. Better sorry. Yeah. The wealth wasn't jewelry and, and, and precious expensive stones. Like that ruby. Oh, yeah. Yeah. As he left for the last time, the tin box was still on the table. Into the halls, they poured chunly powdered along the crew by the crew. One room still caught the eye of Miss Margaret Flo Lecher. As she came down the corridor. Uh, four days before she had playfully teasing him for putting a life belt in her state room. At the time it was just formality. She would never have to wear it. Remembering the exchange. He now smiled and reassured her. Don't be scared. It's alright. I'm not scared. She replied. I'm just sea seasick. I think it is kind of true when you feel seasick when the Titanic sinks. Right? <laughs> um, up the stairs, the first class passenger trooped a harsh crowd in a way. Under his overcoat, Jack Thayer, not Jack Dawson, guys, sported a green tweed suit with waistcoat. A what? A <laughs> Do you know what happened? Hmm? Okay. T W double E D. I don't know what it means. T W double E double E D. I think that's a. a Three jackets. That's it. Thank you. Yeah, posh people used to wear that. People that used to have money. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Robert Daniel, 
a a Philadelphia banker uh, had on his had on only woolen pajamas. Mr. Robert Daniel wears a woolen pajamas. <laughs> Mrs. John Hobum Hobum had a fur coat over her nightgown, and Mrs. Ada Clark chose a nightgown. She'd be cold to death if she wanted to wear something warm. Let me out, girl. <laughs> <laughs> there were attractive dresses, stylish black velvet, two pieces suits, and expensive margarine coats. German Alfred von Dara, I can't remember his last name of German. Um, a twenty-year-old from Colleen settled on a sweater and a pair of trousers. Don't tell me where double trousers and hopped on the lifeboat. And um, he left behind. Yeah, <laughs> he left behind a brand new two thousand one hundred and thirty-three dollars wardrobe that included walking sticks and a fountain pen. And what do it looks like? A fountain pen. It's like. Yeah, an expensive pen, cheap pen, neat pen. Singing class was somewhat less allegedly disarrayed. Mr. and Mrs. Albert Caldwell returning from Sam from Tanland, where they taught, had bought new clothes in London. That's where the Titanic was. Far off is far. Oh, yeah. But tonight had on the oldest clothes they owned. I mean, when they went for Delvia, they can't leave their favorite things behind. Others were, yeah. yeah. Others were wrapped up in simple skirts and blankets and took. Little trouble dressing as they expected to be back in their cabin soon. And I saw the picture of Margaret Brown insisted she should stay to help others. Nothing in the movie. Uh, was Molly Bar- Margaret? Was Molly Margaret in the movie? What they called her Molly. Yeah. But he gave some of the original names. Yeah. Some of them are just made up. Yeah. Yeah. But in this one, she. But the, in this one, they said that she assisted to stay to help the others. So. Yeah. No. Well then, Margaret. <laughs> the students in third class were particularly copious in the because this white star line quartered the single men and single women to at opposite ends of the Titanic and the men were hurrying to catch the girls. As they reached deck and into bitter night, the whole crowd melted, each clad automatically keeping its own decks. First class in the attire of the ship, second a little ah, a feet, I think it's name, I think that was word. And <clears throat> and third at the stern or near the bow. Quietly they stood around, waiting for the next order, were simply confident yet fragilely worried. They were worried when they thought they could have froze to death. With an easy amusement, they eyed how one another looked in life belt, and there were a few half-hearted jokes. Okay, at about 12.30 a.m., I think that's when the Titanic's been gone in 15th of April. 
Uh, Colonel Gracie bumped into Fred White, the Titanic squash pro. Oh, what? <laughs> the Titanic squash pro but was Fred White. <laughs> you heard that? <laughs> squash pro. <laughs> I'm not joking, it says on the article. <laughs> uh, remembering he had reserved the court for 7.30 in the morning, Gracie tried a little joke of his own. Haven't we better camp to that appointment? Yes, replied White. His voice flat and without autism. But he knew that the water was now up to the squash court ceiling. Oh! I think the Titanic has the squash court room. I don't know. Did it? Did she have it? I don't know. While the passengers joked and talked and waited, the crew moved swiftly to their stations. The boat decks tinned with seamen, stewards, Firemen and chef ordered up from below. On the deck, men began to clear the 16 wooden lifeboats. There were eight on each side, a cluster of four towards the bow, then an open space of nine, 190 feet, then another four towards the stern. All the boats together could carry 1,178 people. On this Sunday night, there were 2,223 people on board the Titanic. I was guessing they forgot how to count people? I don't know. Uh, no, from- because we thought they were supposed to be unsinkable. Uh- so I didn't think they needed the amount of boats on there. Ah. I shall read the book. The, met- <laughs> the mythical dyspsy was known by none of the passengers and few of the crew, crew, but most of them wouldn't have cared. The Titanic was unsinkable. Everybody said so. <laughs> I love when it says everybody says so. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, when I watch Britannic, um, the crew said the same thing of the Titanic. And the lady said, so were you, man. So much says unsinkable ship, like the Titanic. Everyone knows it's not unsinkable. That people were fuming. Yeah. Um, what was I? Oh, yeah. When Mrs. Albert Caldwell had watched the deckhand, Carrying up luggages at Southampton, she asked one of them, Is this ship really non sinkable? Yes, lady, he answered. God himself could not sink the ship. You, you lied, pal, you lied. So now the passengers stood calmly on the boat deck, unworried but very confused. There had been no boat drill. Passengers the passengers had no boat assignment, nor did the crew, and they were playing it all by ear. Little knots of men swarmed over each boat, taking off the cabinet's cover, slowly but surely as the cranks really t- were turned and the pulley squealed. The boat swung out free of the ship. Second officer, Charles Herbert, Light taller than lower boat six and with one foot in the craft and one on deck. He called for women and children. The response was anything but autistic. White trade the bright decks of the Titanic for a few dark hours in the rowboat. That's a good question at that. I wasn't gonna maybe um in the movie, they lost account about many people in the lifeboats. 
by the officer's fault. Whoops. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Even John Jacob Astor ridiculed the idea. We are safer here than in that little boat. Why? Okay, calm down, Mr. Astor. Uh, wait, what? John J- Jacob Astor said, we are safer here than in that little boat. I mean, everyone knows Titanic is going to sink, especially him. If you stay, you'll be first to death. I'm going down! <laughs> you just try that. You're in the captain mode. Go on, go through to me. That is the boy that has been ruined. Yep. Who would you be worth from Nicky if that hadn't been? Because apparently the rule uh, back in the day was that if the boat sinks, the captain has to stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first job was for sure. Okay, what was that? Oh, yes. As Mrs. J. Stewart White climbed in a friend called when you get back you need a pass you can't get back on tomorrow without a pass you don't need a pass when you get on a lifeboat they know it's an emergency right (laughs) when mrs constance willard frankly refused to enter the boat and Exorated officer finally shrugged. Don't waste time, let her go if she won't get in. But Margaret Brown's behavior gained her fame and the nickname the unsinkable Molly Brown. Knew it. Molly Brown. <laughs> no, guys, when we watched Titanic 1997, better than just say Molly Brown, Molly Brown, she's a survivor of Mar- Titanic. Do you remember that? <laughs> oh god. Bum, da, 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 da. She just ha- she had just finished pursuing a Belgian woman to enter the lifeboat and was wandering away. When she was grabbed by crewmen and dropped four feet into the boat after insisted she should stay and help others. Like what the the photos just said it. Um the music there was music to lure them too. Bandmaster Wallace Henry Hartley had assembled his men and the band was playing Ragtime. As we know that uh, Near God to Thee, what's the name of it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, They tried to calm everyone down and they know that it was time for them to die at the above of the Titanic. Like, when they're in water, when the Titanic is in the bottom of the ocean. So... Ah, I just, okay. I just did the cross on the head. As I said, put the nail on my head. <laughs> it's called West in Peace, Beth. West in Peace. Oh no, it's not that. The third dog survivor was Sun Yat Sen. I peck and knees are named after the first president of the Republic of China, founded on the 1st of January 1912. Does she mention the rats who died on the ship? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, there were. Beth, in a movie. I'm in somebody's underwear. Rats would be down with the sinking ship. I've been to be froze to death when they were inside the Titanic, like everyone. Like human beings. Yeah. Anyway, uh, on the starboard side, things moved a little faster, but not fast enough for Mr. Esme, the president of the line, who was dashed to and fro urging the men to hurry. Slowly, the passengers started aging forward to boat seven. They included Miss Helen Osby, Mrs. F. M. Warren, Mrs. Washington, Dodge and her five-year-old son when were, when no more women will go alone. A few couples were allowed than a few single men. 
Okay. <laughs> On the starboard side, there was the wall all evening. The one women first, but men, if there was still room. I think the man would say, give us a room, give us a room, give us a room in the boat. But the officers refused to say men and women, not women, men and women, women and children only. Because I think men were desperate to go on the lifeboats. Women and children first. Yes. Why should it be that way now? The women should give up their places for the men to get off the boat first. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking. Yeah. Not me. Um. I was thinking that maybe one of them just hide under the seat of the boat while no one's noticing he was there. That's the thing. There was one that jumped on the boat. He was one of the designers or something, and he jumped on. And another one pretending to be a, a woman with a <laughs> scarf on the head. Nothing, what I want to do. I was cowards. Nothing, what I watched the delete scene. It was. Mm-hmm. It was the bad dress up as a lady that officers didn't notice. <laughs> Henry, sleepy Harper. <laughs> sleepy Harper. <laughs> That's the Pippinese owner's name. Yeah. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, on the starboard side, there was the wall. All evening, women first. But men... Oh, yeah. There was... The room. I will read that. Uh, <laughs> others triggered in until there was about 19 or 20 in the boat. When offers... First officer Murdoch felt he could no longer wait. At 12:45 a.m., he waved away number seven, the first board, de- the first boat down. At the stern of the Titanic, quartermaster George Thomas Rowe still paced his lonely watch. Watch. I was thinking maybe he's check the time to make sure the water comes in or not, and it was where the water comes in. Like sucked, like in the Titanic life. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, he had seen no one heard nothing since the iceberg glazed by nearly an hour ago. Suddenly, he was amazed to see lifeboat floating near the starboard side. He phoned the bridge, and they know there was a boat. Afloat. About it, to float. <laughs> <laughs> that rhymes. Boat float. 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 Voice asked who what who he was and told him to come to the bridge right away and bring some rockets with him. Oh, the the flare! You know, flare that gave Carpathia the signal that the Titanic was in danger to give some room yeah. for the passengers and crew. That's the thing. That's what the story says. Titanic get the signal. Carpathia gives some room for the Titanic survivors and crew. Like passengers and crew. Right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my sister was like... <laughs> okay. He clambered towards the deck with a tin box full of rockets. The last man to learn what was going on. Up on the deck, shipbuilder Andrews was everywhere and helping anyone. He handled everybody differently depending on what he thought of them. He told two worried passengers, she is torn to bits below, but she will not sink if her bunkheads hold. Oh. That's what she said. 
<laughs> he told competent Stuanus Mary Sloan, it is very serious, but keep the bad news quiet for fear of panic. And he told people who he trusted impulsively that he didn't give the ship much over an hour to live. The night crackled with signal ship with signals. Bonky pl- pl- what? <laughs> Plukey Plukey counters of Of moves took to the oars of lifeboat eight. Ships out of direct contact of got the word from those within rage. The news spread in ever widened circles. On the roof of Wanna Maker's department. Wanna wanna what? Wanna maker? Wanna maker? I I don't know how to name of it. Do you know the name of it? Wanna maker. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna make a... <laughs> no, sexist, <50p. laughs> Oh god. I got what he knows. I got what he knows. I think it was Um. <laughs> Store in New York. A young wireless operator caught a fake signal. And also pass it on. The whole world was snapping to agonizing attention. Close at hand, the Cornender Carpathia steamed southward in complete arrogance. It was 12.25 a.m. When, when she finally got the message. Once I come at once, we have struck a bug. Bug. It's just that we struck an iceberg and then they believe that, okay, we'll be careful when there's iceberg around. Don't worry, our uh, ship is safe. Another five minutes and there was welcome news. The Carpathia was only 58 miles away and coming fast. It will blew the fuse in Carpathia, right? Killed. I don't know. Well, I heard that, uh, guys, uh, when I was searching the Titanic, they said that Carpathia sinks as well. So, rest in peace. The superheroine of the Titanic. That's the source of Carpathia. What are you singing? It's a funeral song for the Titanic. Oh, you should sing like Mirror God the. He's the queen of the boats. Uh-huh. Anyway, um, while CQD was a traditional stress call, distress call. And one the Titanic was using now, an international convention, had just agreed to use instead the letters SOS. Like, SOS, we need help. We've been hit by an iceberg, help. You know, like, give the signal to everyone when they were stuck or they need some rescues. The way help and rescue is the same thing. Yes. <laughs> It was decided to use the new signal as a lateral resort, and at 12.45 a.m., the Titanic sent the first SOS ever flashed by an ocean liner. At the same time, a blinding flash sneered the night, and the rock- first rocket shut up. Shut up! Oh, excuse you. <laughs> From the fir- from the starboard side of the bridge, ten miles, a print, a print, sorry, 
It's just my nose is running, so. Run. <laughs> so it. Okay, guys, it is 5.59, so um, we nearly, because we're going to stop the video about 11 o'clock. I was just like, oh my god, nope, 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 nope. Uh, at the same time, oh yeah, for those, Predator James Gibson stood on the bridge, stood on the bridge of the Californian. The strange ship that came up from the east had not moved for an hour. Second officer Herbert Stone, pacing the California Bridge, also kept his eye on the strayed steamer. At 12.45 a.m., he saw the sudden flash of white light burst over her strange, he thought, over strange, he thought, that's her ship will fire buckets at night. Second class passenger Lawrence Beasley, here he comes again, considering himself the Ragonist Landlumber, but even he knew what rockets meant. The Titanic needed help. He needed it so badly it was calling on any ship near enough to see. The others on the boat decks understood too. There was no more choking and lingering. In fact, there was hardly time to say goodbye. It's all right, little girl, called Dan Marvin to his new bride. You go and I'll stay a while. He blew her a kiss as he and en she entered the boat. Be brave, no matter what happens. Be brave, Doctor W. T. Win. No, he's Minahan. Told Aww. told Mrs. Minahan. I think that's the name, Mrs. Mrs. Minahan, <laughs> as he stepped back from the other men. Mr. Tullal Cavendish said nothing to Mrs. Cavendish. Just a kiss, a long look, another kiss, and he disappeared into the crowd. Mark Fortune told his wife's fables as he and his son Charles saw her off with their three daughters. So the Fortune family has a son. Who wants to... Ch Charles. That's the son's name. With the three kid, three girls. So that's four kids in a family. I was thinking Charles stayed behind. Because he wants to help people get on board. <laughs> ah. My mother just went up to my nose. Oh, don't uh, I'll take care of him. We'll go in the next boat, he explained. Charles, take care of father. One of the girls shot it back to her brother. Walter, you must come with me, he begged Mrs. Walter Dean Douglas. No, Mr. Douglas replied, turning away. I must be a gentleman. Some of the wives stood with, still refused to go. Mr. and Mrs. Agner Mayer of New York felt so self-cautious arguing about it in public that they went down to their cabin. Then they decided to part on account of their baby. Oh, don't tell me they want to kill... Don't tell me that the iceberg wants to kill the baby. Or, well, he does, but... Don't tell me that the baby's not going to be on... Stay on the ship or not. Oh, boy. All the reason had to lay down the law to Mrs... Reason. He said, you must obey orders. When they say women and children to the boat, you must go when your turn comes. I'll stay here. We'll be all right. Mr. and Mrs. Lucian Smith were having the same kind of argument. Seeing Captain Smith standing near the, with a megaphone, Mrs. Smith had an inspired idea. She went up to him, explained she was all alone in the world, and asked if her husband could go along with her. Oh, Beth, listen to this. The old captain ignored her, lifted his megaphone, and shouted, 
men and children first. Wow. I don't know what's in. I think I think Captain Smith knows Oh Beth. You know what I was thinking? Yeah. He promised his wife that he would be back home. But he didn't because oh. he died. Oh my god, so that means his wife is all alone with the child. But not the child child, the her daughter. The probably yeah, well for one, the kid's probably old now. Yeah, but what if the great 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 grandkids heard the stories about it and decided to make another Titanic? That'll be cool. With the hotel? Or oh, imagine they build the hotel of the Titanic. Oh, oh wow. Anyway. <laughs> uh at this point Mr. Smith broke in. Never mind, Captain about that. I'll see she gets in the boat. Turning to his wife, he said, I never expected you to obey, but this is one point you must. This ship is thoroughly equipped and everyone on her will be saved. Sometimes it took more than gentle deception. A sea man yanked Mrs. Charlotte Collier by the arm, another by her waist, and they dragged her from her husband Harvey. As she kicked to get free, she called him, she heard him call, Go, Lottie, for God's sake, be brave and go. I'll get in under the boat. When Dealing Yes Beg saw she had to go alone, she began yelling and crying to rejoin her husband, but the boat dropped to the sea while she turned to vain to get out. Tried to vain tried in vain to get out. But no amount of permission or force could move Mrs. Isidore Stress. I have always stayed with my husband, so why should I leave him up now? She asked. She had almost got into boat number eight, but then turned round to join her husband. Now her mind was made up. We have been living together for so many years, she said. Where you go, I go. The couple smiled at each other and, looking at the group hovering around them, they sat down together on a pair of decks chair. So that means this. Oh, I think James Cameron put the ones about the couples, the oldest couple, stay on the Titanic before they die. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Nope. Who knows? Oh gosh, that's tickles. It hurts at the same time. The couple smiled at oh, yeah, I already said that. Uh, by this stage, the sled in the deck was getting steeper and even the carefree were growing uneasy. Some who left everything in their cabins now thought better of it and ventured below to get their valuables. But time was clearly running out. Okay. So, before I read chapter, page 5 to 6, oh well, wait, page 6 to 7, yeah. Uh, I don't get it. I think, do you think, uh, remember that I said that Captain Smith ignored the wife about yeah. wanting to stay with her, she wants her husband to come with her. Do you think maybe he and his her wife arguing about keep traveling more. Yeah. What if uh, what if Cassie Smith was ill or something? What well, like her when he yes sank along with the ship? Or kind of, yeah. Basically like you know, like if you was a captain back in the day, I don't know about now, yeah. if the boat sinks, if like to prove that you're a good captain, you have to sink along with the ship. Yeah. So, as you guys don't know, or didn't know, Captain Smith decided to go to the bridge, close the door, 
and let the war come in to take his life at the age of 62. I bet they know how old he is. Do you? How old? He is 62, according to Google. 62, 62, 62. I'm not joking. I thought I told my mom. I told mom about how old he is, and she didn't know. But thanks to Google, if you want to check it out, or the history book of the Titanic, it will. Oh, but I forgot to tell you. Guess what year where the Titanic will disappear? Um, Two thousand and thirty. That means the Titanic will soonly, slowly disappearing in the future. So, guys, all we have to do is keep the history of the Titanic and think in the same spot where she is. And obviously, uh, the scuba divers found the treasures of the Titanic, which is not possessed, or it is kind of possessed by haunted by the survivors of the Titanic. Um, they said they feel cold. I watch the ghost videos, by the way, and they say that um, they don't know, they can't remember it, and but they all they felt was cold. But thanks to the museum, they made a real, well, not real, real iceberg, but the design of the iceberg. And also, if Beth didn't know, the scuba divers found the piece of the Titanic and put it in the museum, which I think it might not be the way because I was thinking maybe the germs of the Titanic was eating it slowly, but the pieces was not going to be eaten by the pieces. I don't know. Because if it's in an iceberg... Uh, when people discovered it and... Uh... Uh, went on it, it, it was a pump and an energy. So that's what's happening to it now. Okay, right. so before I read any of those, um, here are some pictures about um, okay, Bethany just sent a message. Uh, okay, Titanic Pets 1912. Three small dogs, two Peranans and Pekinsey. Pekinese. Thank you. Um, Margaret Hayes, age 24. Uh, she loaded Titanic at Cherbourg and was traveling home. But is that home or home? It's her phone. H O N E. By next to traveling in front with, yeah, uh, with two friends in New York, to New York and her poem called Lady. Uh, do do Uh, so Margaret and Lady wrapped a blanket. Uh, American James Clinch Smith spotted the dog and said, Oh, I suppose we ought to put a life preserver on the little doggy too. Smith was among more than 1,500 people who died in the sinking. Mrs. Yeah. Elizabeth, Mrs. Elizabeth Barrett. Mrs. Elizabeth Barrett Ruth's child, age 54. Uh, which the name is unknown by her dog, and when she's escaped in a lifeboat. When the rescue ship. Corrida! How do you be Carpathia? She spelled it wrong. Carpathia is supposed to have a P, not an O. Beth, are you? Oh yeah, she's left. Um, okay, Pom Pom. I think it's a dog. Uh, 
uh, see, uh, she hosted a board clutch in her pot, which later died in a fight with another dog in New York. Uh, Elizabeth's husband, Martin, uh, was among those lost in the disaster. The dog survivor was Sun Yat San, a Pongasi named, was the first after the first president of the Republic of China founded on 1st January 1912. Wait, what? Uh, I think that dog was found 1912 in January, no long before the Titanic sank in April 15th. Uh, he escaped a lifeboat with owner Henry Sleeper Harper. Okay, who named who named Henry Sleeper Hopper? I don't know. Uh, a publisher with his wife Maya and two servants. Beth. You spelled you spelled Carpathia wrong. It's supposed to be with the P, not the O. Oh, it's just my keyboard. Give me your test. The autocorrect thing. Yeah, lovely. Uh, she told me that she uh, has a lesson. It's a pet. What? Yeah. Yeah. So here's the photos of the survivors. Uh, a live survivor are picked up by the Lighter Carpathia, Edible Seaman, Bearded Smith. Captain Smith was referred by his officers on the Titanic. Um. So that's uh, the one who survived, one who doesn't, that's Captain Smith. Good. Captain Smith walked from boat to boat, urging the women to hurry. Ladies, you must get in at once, he said. There is not a moment to lose. Don't hesitate. Get in! Get in! <laughs> Did I just get you, Beth? <laughs> Uh, one after another, the boats dropped rampantly into the sea. Number six at 12.55 a.m., number three at 1 a.m., and number eight at 1.10 a.m. Where did them go? First class passenger, William Carter, advised William, I mean, sorry, Harry Widener to try for a boat. Widener shook his head and said, I think I'll stick to this sh big ship. I take a chance. So that means Henry wants to be sacrificed to the Titanic himself. So, wow. What? Fourth officer, Box Hall, still couldn't believe what ha was happening. Captain, he asked, is it really serious? Captain Smith answered quietly. Mr. Andrews tells me that he gives her from an hour to an hour and a half. Back at the boats, a pretty, pretty French girl stumbled and fell as she tried to climb into number nine. Oh no! I shouldn't laugh, but that's what I want to say. A pretty girl, a pretty French girl stumbled and fell as she tried to climb into number nine. Oh my god! <laughs> Do you think they might give the message to the people that they not know, like the the people who died in the Titanic, the world, like China, Philadelphia, France? I was thinking maybe they like to travel the world or something. Probably. Uh, what does it do? Back of the boat. Oh yeah, I already said that. Um, an elder lady, an elderly, <laughs> an older woman missed number ten entirely. Oh no, that means she fell into the water like the pretty French girl did. Oh no, she fell between the boat and the side of the ship. I was right, but as the watching crowd gasped, someone miraculously caught her ankle and hauled her back into the boat. Thank God. What about the French girl? They forgot the French girl. Uh oh. Some of. didn't like her. Why they? They don't have to speak French. Doesn't mean she's rude. 
some of them lost their nerve altogether. An old lady made a big fuss about getting into a boat, getting to boat number nine. She finally shook off an inner body and ran away from the boat. Why did she run away from the boat? They rescued her, doesn't mean they tried to kill her into the water. Now she's gonna kill herself? She wants to swim. Yeah. She wanted to swim. If you. I think the story says that um, if you get off the water onto the object or pieces of the Titanic. You'll be okay as long as you don't tip over into the water and you drown and die. That's cold. Is it? Oh yeah, like Rose did in the film. Yeah. Uh. Another historical woman. Women thrashed about helplessly. Trying to climb into boat number 11 while a large. <laughs> oh my god, man, listen to this! While a large fat woman still crying near number 13. It can't be saying that, fat woman, that's fat shaming. No, be when I read the article, hold on, let me see who's, what's the name of him? Um, who was it? Um, I think someone read this and didn't know they accidentally typed that. Whoops. Uh, a short age of trained seamen made the confusion worse and with some of the best men having been used on the earlier boats, second officer liked like 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 was rationing the hands he had left. Only two crewmen to a lifeboat. Number six was halfway down when a woman called up to the boat deck. We've only seen one... We've only... We've only one... Let me try again. We've only one seaman in the boat. If you like, I will go, called a voice for the crowd. Are you a seaman? said Lightola. I am a yachtsman. A yachtsman. Yachtsman. Yeah, yachtsman. If you don't know what a yacht is, guys, it's like sway. It's like the boathouse for the, like, way smaller than the Titanic. Am I right, Beth? Yep. Yeah. So, Major Arthur Godfrey. Putin of the Royal Academy Yacht Club. Oh, he's a can he's a Canadian. He's a Canadian. Canada. He's in Canada. Like I was right, maybe someone wants to travel all around the world until they found out that Kobe on the Titanic was a disaster because it says Titanic Disaster Special. Um, what was I? Oh, yeah. As he swung himself out and slid down into the boat. He was the only male passenger, light taller, allowed in a boat that night. Men had it luckier on the starboard side, and more dogs continued to allow them in if there was room. When the time came to lower number three, Henry... Sleeper Hopper not only joined his wife, but he brought along his Pegasin, Sun Yet Sen, and an Egypt interpreter named Hamad Hassa. Uh, right, um. Uh, down in third class, there were those who didn't even have the opportunity to board a boat. A swarm of men 
and women milled around the foot of the main uh, storage staircase jammed together, noisy and reckless. They looked like they more like it made them passengers amid the low ceilings and naked light bulbs. Why was Irish migrants? Oh. At 12.30 a.m. Wait, what? This is 1 a.m. How come it's go back to 12.30? Huh. Maybe they forgot what time was that. Uh, at 12.30 a.m., orders came to send that when the women and children up to the boat deck and... As it was hopeless to expect them to find their way, their own way, through the maze of corridor, they were escorted up in little groups. No fear, if I were the cruise of the Titanic, I'll have the passengers how to get out of the maze of the corridor. Otherwise, there'll be a dead, another dead end. You might get another message now. When was that? Just now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, the dog who didn't survive, Titanic dog victims included, a French bulldog called Gamin D. Pico, traveling with 27 year old banker Robert Williams Daniel, who survived. Another dog that died while his master survived was. Chow, chow. Uh, chow, chow. <laughs> Name unknown, belonging to stockbroker Harry Anderson, age 54. Harry escaped in a lifeboat and later put in a claim uh, for $50 for the loss of his pet. I was thinking maybe his dog was like a family dog and left him in the Titanic to die. Think. Probably all couldn't find him because how many people was on the boat? Yeah. Oh my god, I got a lot of stuff of my message. Oh, there's more. There was one that grabbed a, 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 a little girl so he could get on the boat. Does she know oh, that her? No. Does she know that her doll was missing and where she wants to find her? Yeah, but this bloke grabbed her because it was lost anyway, this girl. Oh. And to get on the, to get on the boat, he grabbed this little girl and took her on the boat. Huh. Uh, let's see. Uh, it was a long trek and like a stream of ants. Oh, a thin line of them crawled their way along the corridors, over the railings and on up. To the boat deck. Strings of ants. Oh, I was thinking maybe they're talking about the passengers. When they were having a panic attack. Most of the boats were gone. One by one, they rowed slowly away for the Titanic. And every boat's eyes were glued on the big liner. It seemed impossible that anything could be wrong with this great ship. Yet, they, they, they were out on the sea, and there she was, brutally lit from the stem to stern, looking like a saggy birthday cake. Who put saggy, saggy. birthday cake? <laughs> What kind of vodka I'm bringing? Oh God! My pockets come out of my nose. Am I the nose? Thank you. 
Sharky bollocks. <laughs> there was now no longer any difficulty persuading people to leave the ship. Paul Mayet, the chef's assistant, jumped ten feet into a dangling boat. He shouldn't do that. He'll break his leg. Jesus Christ, dude! You'll go to hospital. You can't walk. <laughs> There is a man that uh, got sliced during the disaster. Yeah, Don't tell me it's going to be on Titanic. Oh my god. Third class passenger Daniel Buckley jumped into a boat and hauled there crying. Some other men who had joined him were hauled out. But Buckley covered himself in a woman's shawl and his disguise worked. Doesn't like his right. Doesn't yeah. like your dad's right. Yeah. He shot himself not long after. Really? Yeah. Sometime later, you know, when he was survived and that, he shot himself. I was thinking maybe he's having a nightmare and that's why he shot himself or something. That's because of what he did, he was cowardly. Oh. And he shot himself. As boat number 14 prepared to be lowered, a wave of men rushed to the boat. First officer, Lowe, pulled his gun and shouted, If anyone else tries that, this is what he'll get. He fired three times along the side of the ship as the boat dropped down to the sea. Murdoch barely stopped a rush at number 15 and he yelled to the, at the crowds, Stand back! Stand back! It's the woman's first! It's women first! He sounded like a demon. Stand back! Stand back! Okay, now you sound like a witch. <laughs> Stand back! <laughs> what, what was that? Is that like me? <laughs> okay, now my sis got to give me a test about it. Um, wait. Beth, where was it? I just sent you it, that little paragraph. Yeah, but it's not there. Where is it? Wait, hold on. Oh, get rid of that. And... Go to the message again. It says you're active five minutes ago. That's why it's not working. You gotta wait for your breath. I don't understand. Uh... Okay, what was I? Oh yeah, other passengers were different. William T, I think stands for Thomas, Steed, a well-known writer and editor, retired to the first-class smoking room where he sat alone with a book. No, wait, that means you're going to tell everyone the story about what's going on. You know, like, the whole world and stuff. You okay, man? It sounds like you're fighting the bug on here. No. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. Don't worry, if I keep sticking the tablet, I'll be alright. Uh, Riverend Wobbin J. Bedman of Jacksonville stood outside watching his sister in law, Mrs. Ada. <laughs> uh, Ada Boss? Mrs. Ada Boss? I should I should stop off because up. Uh, whose idea to put the name of the victims right here in the article? Whose idea was that? Uh, entering a boat as he threw down his 
necktie and tossed it to her as a keepsake. He shouted, if I don't meet you again in this world, I'll meet you in the next. Which means I'll meet you in heaven when you get older. Stuff. First class passenger, Jay Yates, described as a gambler, stood alone and friendless. To a woman entering the boat, he handed a page torn from the appointment book, signed with one of his alias. It read, If safe, inform my sister, Mrs. F. J. Adams of Findlay, Ohio, lost J. H. Rogers. Hello. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Benjamin Benjamin Graham had a more detailed message. If anything happens should happen to me, tell my wife I've done my best in doing my our, my duty. We are dressed in our best best and are prepared to go down like gentlemen. Like da, 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 da. Beth. Uh, I played right to the end. Yeah. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's a green song. Yeah. Um, uh, passenger John Jacob Astor, ridiculed call to lifeboats. Uh, when the with all the boats gone, a curious came calm came over the Titanic. The excitement and confusion were over, and the Hundreds left behind stood quietly on the upper decks. John, Jack there thought of all the good times he had had. Had had. I got a feeling that someone typed it twice. Had. And all the future pleasure he would never enjoy. He thought of his parents, his sisters, and his brother. How many sisters does he have? 302, I don't know. Uh, he felt far away as if he was looking on from some different place. It was 2.05 a.m. when Captain Smith entered the shag for the last, last time. Men, you have done your full duty. You can do no more. A bad your cabins. Now it's every man for himself. Some of the men took the captain on at his word and jumped overboard. Others stuck to the ship and remained at ease while the band continued to scrub lustfully away at wage time. Oh god, my nose is running again. How many times are my nose running? Uh, the patchy juice were. No catch it. Uh, the passengers were just as calm. Some debate whether to jump while others stood quietly. Or pace the deck. Within the ship, the heavy silence of the desert winds had a drama of its own, and it was hard to believe that just hours ago they were filled with its close, violently dressed ladies and gentlemen listening to chamber music. The smoking room was not completely empty when a steward looked in at 2 10 a.m. He was surprised to see Thomas Andrews standing all alone in the room. Wait, so we thought Thomas Andrews stood alone when there's no one around, but there is. Huh. His life belt was discarded, his arms were folded, and he had stern look on his face. I gotta feel that he was guilty, that he lied to everyone, that he was not was unsinkable but he was wrong it was sinkable i felt bad for him when he's feeling guilty that he told everyone that it was unsinkable right yes. so rest in peace yeah rest in peace thomas andrews even though beth um i yes. watched the videos about the ghost and there's something terrifying you shouldn't see there's a there's a little boy I don't know his age. I think he's about five or nine years old. Uh, he said their mom says that he was being possessed by Thomas Andrews when he watched the Titanic, and when he was free for the spirit, when he comes of age, 
he made the history or the game of the Titanic. So that was kind of creepy, wasn't it? Like yeah. besides a child. Besides a child. If a past, if a ghost is literally taking over a body of a human or an animal, they're basically called a skinwalker. Beth, that's a different story. Yeah. No, I mean like uh... what you just mentioned. You're, oh yeah, you're literally describing a skinwalker. Yeah. Um. Okay. What was I? Oh yeah. Outside on the decks, the crowd still waited, the band still played, some prayed, and others were just lost in thought, which means they were scared to die. At 2.15 a.m., the bridge dipped under and the sea rolled along to both deck as the crew tried to release the remaining two collapsible boats down down, dipped the Titanic's bow, and her stern swung slowly up. The slant of the deck grew so steep that people could no longer stand. The Titanic was now perpendicular. Clear. Out. What? Perpendicular. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, out of the boats, they could hardly believe their eyes. For more than two hours, they had watched, hoping against hope, as the Titanic sank lower and lower. Two minutes passed, and the noise of the muffled thuds and breaking glass finally stopped. The Titanic settled back slightly at the stern, and then slowly she began sliding under. As she glided down, she seemed to pick up speed. Like, it's, uh, it's like this. I think it's this way. Like, down. And when it's good like this, it was like it. Down it goes. That's why the boat tried to stay away from the ship as far as, as possible. Yeah. When the boats were too close, when the boats were too close, when the Titanic sank, the wave will push the boat like fiercely. Like, okay, uh, two minutes passed, and oh, yeah, I already read that. Um, Purser McElroy and Purser Barker were joined by Light Toller for a fleeting moment. They all shook hands and said goodbye. When the sea closed over the flagstaff, she was moving fast enough to cause a slight gulp. gulp. A slight gulp? <laughs> Just imagine the ship was like, um. Where's the piece, Titanic? <laughs> oh my god. In boat number three, third officer Pintman looked at his watch and announced, It is 2.20. In the. Okay. I never heard. I never heard of Maelstrom. I don't know what it means. M A E L S T R O N. Never heard of it. Right. Spell it again slowly. M A N A E L E L S T S T R O N. R-O-M or N. M. Like, hmm. Nostrum. 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 Um, of what? Deck chairs 
planking and wildly swirling water. Nobody knew what happened to most of the people. For the boats, they could be seen clinching like swarms of bees to deck houses, <laughs> winches and ventilators of the stern rose higher. Nothing, the newspaper article guy wasn't was thinking it was a joke, like giving people a joke, but it's not a joke, girl, guy, or something, whatever, Brian is. Nor did anyone really know what happened to Captain Smith. Well, we do. He went inside the bridge, let the war come in through the glass, and he died. People said later that he shot himself. Shot yeah, himself. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh my god. But the the ah. But there is not a shred of evidence of this. Just before the end, Stuart Edward Brown saw him walk to the bridge still holding his megaphone, sinking beneath the waves, shouting, Be British! <laughs> now my sister's not going to thinking, what the British? Oh, God. After the Titanic sank, fireman Henry Senior saw him in the water holding a child. Pieced together, this picture... Far more than suicide, fits the picture of Captain Smith. So I was thinking he's he's holding a picture of him and his daughter as the child. Oh. As the sea closed, closed, closed over the Titanic, Lady Cosmo Duff Gordon in boat number one when marked to her secrecy, Mrs. Franz Catelli. There is, there is your beautiful nightdress gone. I bet she's jealous of Lady Cosmo Dove Gordon's nightdress. I bet. A lot more than Miss Friend Catiel's nightgown vanished that April night. Even more than the largest liner in the world. Her cargo and the lives of one thousand five hundred and no, nope, sorry, my bad. One thousand five hundred two people, people, never again would man fling a ship into an ice field, heedless of warnings, putting their whole trust in a few thousand tons of steel and white rifle. Nobody believed any longer in the unsinkable ship. It was also the last time to last time a liner would be put to sea without enough lifeboats. The forty six thousand three hundred and twenty eight ton Titanic sailed under hopelessly outdated safety rules. It was also the end of class distinction and filling the boats. Statistics that show the Titanic's casualty list included four of 143 first class women, three by choice, 15 of 93 class second class women, and 91 out of 100. And 79 third class women not to mention the children except for Lorraine Allison all 29 first and second class children were saved but only 23 out of 76 third class children were saved it was now after 3 a.m. nearly an hour after the sinking and the cries in the night meant one thing to living death offers a low row back and help. After leaving the Titanic in boat 
Number 40, he had rounded up boats. Number 10, number 12, and number 4. And D, tied all five together. He divided his 55 passengers among the other boats. But it was nerve-wracking work playing musical chairs with row boats at 2.30 a.m. In the middle of the Atlantic. Chump, God damn you, chump. He shouted impatiently and Miss Daisy Minahan. On the other hand, as an old lady in a shawl, seemed much too agile. Lo ripped it off and looked into the frightened face of a young man. White eye, eyes white in terror. Nothing was said, but he pinched the man into boat number 10 as hard as he could. As boat number 14 edged into the wake age, it lost four people, but it was lost cause, and for nearly an hour, it played hopeless. Blinds men, buffs chasing shouts, and calls in the darkness, never quite able to reach who, who was shouting. And Benjamin Guggenheim gave a survivor a note for his wife, so I bet that's it. In the end, they picked up only four people, and one of them died within an hour. For now, for then on, the survivors huddled together and scanned the horizon, searching for any sign. Slowly, the sign passed. The sea grew choppy and bitter cold. Waves splashed over the feet, shins, and splashed over. Wait, no, wait, no, no, no. Splash over the feet, shins, and knees of the survivors. It was just after 3.30 a.m. when they saw it first. A distant flash, followed by a far-off boom. Number eight, in bow number eight, Seaman Jones hardly dared to believe his eyes and turned to the Countess of Roofs. Where we next to him, he whispered, Can you see any lights? Look on the next wave we top, but don't say anything in case I'm wrong. A few moments later, and there was no doubt about it, and they told the others. Over the water floated cheers and yells in of relief. Even nature seemed pleased as the jeering night gave way to the morph and call of a yeah, and call of a beautiful dawn. Meanwhile, the corner liner Carpathia was still steaming towards where the Titanic had once floated. None of the passengers aboard the Carpathia knew why they had changed direction and were now heading north on a wild dash through the night. The two stood there, waddling in the shadows, all eyes straining it toward into the darkness, not even knowing what they were looking for. And I was thinking, uh, the captain can't tell the passengers yet when the Titanic was about to sink, but he does tell his crew to say, set sail to where the Titanics happen, and they were too late that the Titanics uh, sink with many men and less than with many women and children. So... Uh, the captain of the Carpathia, name is Rostron, ordered his men to knock off all routine work to organize the ship for rescue operation. At 2.35 a.m., Rostron suddenly saw the glow of a green flare of the horizon and would spread below that they were in sight. At the gateways and boat stations, the men stood ready. And I was thinking the captain told everyone in the ship to say to bad news and the good news. Well, they, they told the bad news first and then the good news that the Titanic was gone. 
because it was been hit by the tight by the iceberg. When I said the Titanic, ah! <laughs> and I remember that Mom's wished to have seen Titanic six six six, and I told her that's not possible. And she said, "Okay, it's Titanic three then." And when I watched it, it was really cool. Like it's like a horror film. Like get the flashback of the Titanic and give us a re want to see the granddaughter of the Titanic herself. And then she sank because she's been possessed by the ghost. Woo Anyway. Everyone was wild with excitement and all Capathia herself trembled all over. I hope it not meant to be careful to watch the icebergs everywhere. But Wolstrand's heart was sinking. By 3.35 a.m., they were approaching the Titanic's position and there was still no sign of her. At 3.50 a.m., he put the engines on standby. They were almost at the spot, and at 4 a.m., he stopped the ship. They were there. Just then, another green flare blazed up, and the flickering light, my bad, showed up the outline of a lifeboat. To make matters worse, icebergs were surrounding. Okay, if you guys don't know where the icebergs come from, uh, my theory was that it's, they from, it's from the Greenland, because um, the iceberg... You know, the iceberg bits just cracked, fall to the ocean, and the waves carry them all the way where the iceberg, where the Titanic was heading to New York. That's what I'm guessing. Am I right, Beth? Yeah. Yeah, because Greenland, we thought Greenland was like Green Island, but we were wrong. It's just, it was an iceberg land full of icebergs everywhere. <laughs> And I was like, goosebumps when I was watching Titanic 2. And I said, it starts to make sense now. No wonder where the icebergs come from. Like, we're in the future of Titanic. Yeah. Uh, what was I? Oh, yeah. We surrounded the ship. And it was forced to judge one after another as it edited towards the lifeboat. In the half light of dawn, the Carpathia threw down a line and at 4.10 a.m., Miss Elizabeth Allen became the first survivor to climb slowly up the ladder and tumble into the arms of Purser's Brown. After this, people on deck could make out other lifeboats all on, so on all sides. They were scared all over a four-mile area. Whoops and yells of reliefs erupted from all the boats as the men tried to outrow each other in reaching the Carpathia. As we got, as we all know, that Carpathia was been destroyed. Like, I don't know what happened to Carpathia. I was thinking maybe um, the, ice, the engine just burst and sink. Not like Britannic, because Britannic was being destroyed by the German soldier when the female British soldier or something like men, I don't know, tries to stop him from seeking Britannic's it's well, you don't know who what Britannic is. Britannic is a hospital ship. Where the Titanic was like, um, I don't know, a hotel for wait, really, really interrupting me. Smith or Shaggy Dog Stories? <laughs> <laughs> I knew the second character name was after the dog. Uh, two dog Smith were linked to the Titanic disaster. It is true that fifty-year-old and I, I thought, refused to get in a life. Thank you. Refused to get in a life up without her large dog. 
possibly a great Dan or Dane, Dane or Stet Bernard. Saint Bernard. I don't know that. However, there is no evidence as to support the story that passengers on the German liner Berman later see. Bremen. Did it say say or what? See? Right, uh, so. So, so, a woman in a life jacket with her frozen arms wrapped around her large dog, bubbling, bobbing in the waves. Bobbing. Bobbing, 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 bobbing. Neither the body of Anne nor the dog were ever found. Another Titanic myth is the legend of the Regal, the big blank, big, big black. Newfoundland dog, which again has a new no basis in fact. A report in the New York Herald claimed Regal swam in front of the lifeboats and barred to alert the Carpathia. So let me get it straight. The passenger heard the dog and said, "Oh, there's a dog on the Titanic. Bring him up." Uh, the story was thought to have been made up by. And an enterprising reporter. Enterprising reporter. Yeah, enterprising reporter. I was thinking maybe he's talking about this. Okay, what was I? Oh, yeah. One by one, the boats crept up to the Carpathia. It was 4.45 a.m. when number three, 13 made fast. Number 7 arrived at 5.10 a.m. Then came number three at 6 a.m. And so they came one boat load after another. And as such, drew alongside. The survivors already aboard purred down for the promenade deck searching for familiar faces. Just like, um, just like Cal. Tried to find Rose, but Rose hide herself in a blanket like, don't let him see me, don't let him see me, don't let him see me. And um, in the story of Rose, she says that Cal shot himself from the age of 29, did you say? That was in the one. Yeah. she lost as well. Was that uh, Ruby? Was his family as well? Ah. Yeah. So he lost his family as well. Uh, um, what was that? Oh, yeah. At eight thirty a.m., boat number twelve, the last one to arrive, made fast and began to unload. Rostrum wondered where to take his two his seven hundred and five unexpected guesses and was quickly decided to head for New York. Uh, at 8.50 a.m., Rostron was satisfied there couldn't possibly be another human being alive and turned his ship for New York, straight over the Titanic's grave. Already, the city of New York was wildly excited when the first word arrived at 1.20 a.m. Nobody knew what to think. The story seemed fantastic, but only the times went out on the limb and reported it sinking. Long the silence after the first few messages had convincing managing editor Carl Van Anda that Titanic was gone. But Vice President Philip A. S. Franklin of the White Star Line offices was still making light of the report. At 8 a.m. he said, we place absolute confidence in the Titanic. We believe that the boat is unsinkable. I was thinking he was going to say, who blame all this to say Titanic is unsinkable? And they say, it wasn't us, sir. I think it was Thomas Andrews because he was the one who didn't know that the Titanic was unsinkable. Just like Olympic... Britannic and Carpathia. I think every ship is unsinkable. 
when everyone's abandoning the ship, like, presents all the way right here in the present, present and the past, future. Okay. But at the same time, he was actually wiring Captain Smith. And actually, awaiting information and probably, probable disposition of passengers at 8.37 p.m. on Thursday, the Carpathia finally reached the Pereira. At 9.35 p.m., the first survivor tumbled off. Before... F- Come in! Oh, be right back. I guess what? I didn't see the gift. Did you show me? No. I just got a lens that was something different. Anyway. For some, it was all too much, while others added their own myths and fables to the vision conjure up on shore. Legends will eventually keep alive the story of Garwin's self-sacrifice, but in the days that followed no legends that need, were needed to drive home the story. And as I said before, that uh, it's up to you to read the book of called A Night to Remember, and the Titan of 1997. And, um, <laughs> there's a guy who's sitting on the door. <laughs> Very cartoons of the day asked why the four men traveling first class of five when so many seconds and third class women pushed. Uh, let's see. A Titanic's weight is, oh, hello, six to four, but wait, yeah, six, 46,328 tons. Beth, guess how much the Titanic is? How much? One million five thousand dot million pounds. Oh my gosh. Uh she measured eight eight two point five feet long, nine two five feet wide, and six zero point five feet from water light to boat deck. She got wow. golf course, tennis. 
Of course, I was right. She does have squash court. Looks like I put squash courts in her. What's that? Turkish bath. Yeah, she even has a dairy cows. Maybe the dog wasn't the only one. It was cows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they didn't mention about cows. Um, her engine is maximum 55,000 with 25 knots of speed, not 29 miles per hour. Uh, she was launched May 31st, 1911. Oh, bet I forgot to tell you. Titanic was built 31st of March, 1909. Oh. That means she's three years old when she sank. Wow. Do you believe me now? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. And she arrived Southampton on April 3rd, 1912, to make sure she's getting ready to New York, but all of a sudden, she didn't make it. Oh, wait, there it is. That she was like 1,070 miles, two days from New York, and 2,020 miles from Southampton, but we already know she's out 2,000 feet down. And we already know the number. Here's a newspaper boy. Spread the words in London. And here's the gathers of white, like, white? Yeah. White off stars office in New York. Because New York's thinking it was their fault, but it was wrong. It was Thomas Andrews who's thinking that ship is on sick of all, everybody. Come in. And here's the one who survived the Titanic, like died or not. First class, 119 men died, 54 remaining. 11 women died. 145 remaining and it's total 130 who died and 199 who survived 192 men died 50 remaining 44 women died 104 survived which makes 19 166 who died and 119 survived Mm, okay. Sorry. <laughs> what? Send <laughs> Okay. 417 men died. I have 65. 9. 119 women died. 105 remaining 536 died 474 remaining 682 died from the men 194 men who survived three women who survived died sorry and 20 women who died well survived my back Six hundred and eighty-five who died in total, and two hundred and fourteen people who died. So that makes one hundred. I mean, one thousand five hundred seventy people who died. Seven hundred and six who were survived. And it's up to you guys. But if one of your great grand family who has uh, win a Titanic audio tape from, I think it's 
after January 23rd. I think that was uh, 1913 when they heard the Titanic sank. And also, if you have Titanic 1997, go watch it from Leah, Kate, Leo, and James Cameron's film. And when Kelly was enjoying her food, I thought she said, mm, babes. <laughs> babes! I'm a live stream, don't say that! I thought you said that. <laughs> I don't know what exactly you said. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, guys. The only reason why I say 11 o'clock, I gotta show my sister the film, which I wish WhatsApp can show you. Well, can show her. Yeah. You bet. Can we call a messenger? Huh? Can we call a messenger? Yeah, sure. I'll call you back. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna call a messenger right now. Oh, there you go. I'm waiting. Hello? 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 Why Hi. didn't see the scene? Okay, here we go. Okay, guys, as I said before, I'm going to show my sister the films of Titanic, Titanic 2, Titanic 6, 6, 6. Six, six, six. Did you know that uh, triple six is a devil's number? Yeah, I know, Beth. I've, I've watched it. Okay, guys. So I'm going to show my sister. Uh, something. Okay, Beth. This app called for boy. I know what you're thinking. What is called for boy? No, no, yeah. I think it stands for. Film movie? Um, oh my god, go away, stupid thing. Um, look what I got. I got, oh yeah, I forgot, Raise the Titanic. Titanic 2, Titanic, and Titanic 666. Which one do you want to watch? The Titanic. Hello? I said any of them, really. Alright, I'm gonna do eeny, meeny, my mo. Eeny, meeny, my name, mo. Catch a. Titanic. Which Titanic should I pick? Eeny, meeny, my name, mo. Beth? Pick. You gotta watch Titanic 666. Oh, it's a devil. Okay, should I tell you something before the film starts? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, when I watched, there's a. Okay, remember that someone gave married and stuff from the ship? Yeah. Some. Um, it's going completely wrong because the. I'm not going to show you that yet. <laughs> um, the captain said that the start of the wedding, but he didn't notice there's a nice burger. I was going to say there's a nice burger approached. And. I bet she's trying to do that. Um. Please. 
And what was going to say? Oh, yeah. Uh, remember the Titanic sink? Oh, Beth. Hmm? Remember the Titanic sink? No, 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 down there, down there, on the speaker, on the fire, that was no, 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 down on the fire, side on the fire. My dad's just uh, putting the stuff back on the shelf. Oh, shit. What, what happened? Oh, One of the pictures on my phone. Oh. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, they do the same thing of the Titanic, but. But then you go like this. They are. Finally, put the the victims of the Titanic as a ghost, and a few years later, there's the great granddaughter, which she is not real. Princess, her great grandfather came to life as a ghost and killed everyone in sight. Are you? Are you ready to see it? Yeah, sure. Well, they know that the <laughs> they know that the museum of the Titanic that goes of the victims didn't kill everyone, but this one's this one's legit. If I wait for it. Oh, I've tried some chips out at Heritage. It was excellent. Anyway, Beth, you get ready for the jump scares and the um awesome details of the victims. I think I should play, press play before we start. <laughs> Why is this still loading? Um, try this. What is the internet like at yours? Uh, Virtual Media. Okay, oh is it from you on? Is it from you on? It's a funny mod on your phone. Yeah, it's just a sound I know. Mm. Let me put the subtitles on for you because uh fun I can or can't hear it. It just says fails because the 
The network's fine. Hold on. Let me try it a different way. Uh, rabbit stream. If that's gonna work. Why is it Can you hear it? No. That's Captain Smith. What? Hey, watch, watch the work. You're gonna love this. Wait for the chop scare. My sister say chop scare. Wait for it, wait for it. Have you seen that? I've never seen it. Yeah, because people call him fat and lazy. <laughs> fat Okay, do you see the differences when the director forgot the split? Yeah. Beth, say hello to Titanic 3. Wow, how many Titanic is there? Um, sorry, what do you say? Yeah. Um, I'm just wondering how many Titanics were there. It's only three. <laughs> The original, number two, number three. Plus, Beth, plus, everyone was desperate to know when Titanic 4 is coming out. She's an actual Titanic. There is one that looks exactly like the Titanic called uh, Queen Mary. 
Yeah. Here's the thing. The captain says, whatever you do, do not wreck the ship because ghosts don't like it. So, that's what they've been wearing the whole Titanic too. <laughs> oh, get this. There's a female captain in this one. Say so it's that weird one with a bandana on. <laughs> it's all about missions on the news, but they've done it. Yeah. Bad people. Say hello to Captain Wotes. Bad vibes on the ship. Bad people. Bad karma. Especially for all the sins. Viking that was uh, supposed to be married Rose. Yeah. All he cared about was that room, Family wealth. <laughs> oh, sorry. Bye bye. Stop it. <laughs> sorry about that. Do you know what the creepy bit? Mm. Do you remember the great granddaughter of Captain Smith that I'm talking about? Yeah. She knows that the professor broke to the grave and stole the treasures that she felt. Yeah. And she gained revenge. That's why she kills all the people, like to let the ghosts kill people. Oh. And look at the martyr. The monitors control the ship. How cool was that? That is cool. I don't know how long do you have that place to put that for? Does that mean? Huh? 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 Okay, now there's someone who broke into Titanic 3 in a suitcase. Uh, Watch. See him? Beth? Say hello to Idina. Beth? Hess? I think it's Hess. Mm -hmm. Beth? They say all had uh, some uh, excitement in their lives, more than a good many allow it ever. <laughs> Beth, look how creepy she is. She's a psycho. I guess what? She got the ashes of Captain Edward Smith, her good grandfather. I still like her one bit. No fair bad. I'm not gonna spoil it to you or make you feel comfortable. She kills herself and you're not gonna like it at the end. She was a little woman when they give the talk at the end when she went on the ship when they went down. Yeah. When she was in the nineties. Yeah. Okay, do you see the urn? Yeah. That's Captain Edward Smith's ashes. Yep. Be in the water washer. 
I don't think it will. Jonathan South Pacific. Bruh, there's nothing like Elvis himself anyway. I like her dress. I don't. But she's wearing a uniform and walk away without everyone noticing. There's a microphone with a phone. <laughs> Look at this. That's Professor. He stole the treasures of Titanic. Including the following. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> Do you know why? Why? There's a ghost file in. He sings near my god to thee in a creepy version and he took the husband and killed a wife. And guess what? No one knows where the husband is because he disappeared into the midst of the air. Okay, you see, here she is walking through the womb without everyone noticing what she's doing. And here's the treasures. No fear, the uniform didn't fit in her. <laughs> Do you see? The uniform's too big for her, Beth. She looks like a zippicious Lloyd from Gordon Ramsay's show. <laughs> She's just walking to follow in. She's creepy. And guess what, Beth? He's the professor wants to buy stuff from the treasure of the Titanic. Yeah. And that's why she's upset and angry about it, because she knows he wants to sell stuff. And wants more money. And Brian, Brian wants some money as well. Oh. Included, there's a lifeboat on the ceiling. You'll see in a bit. And you'll see the words once she knows. And she saw the pen and walk away. Oh my god. Do you see the smirk? Do you see the smirk? Like a smolder yes. smirk? He wasn't supposed to be on the ship. No. He won his ticket on the ship by playing cards. Yeah. So it was all destiny for him. Yeah. Uh, okay, do you see the couple? Yeah. There were the Instagrammers and TikToks called the the love something. I don't know. Not just that Professor Ford is in love with his wife and he wants her. <laughs> but she said, nope. Yeah. Thank you. I'm married to my man. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, back to her. Back to her. She's have. She finally found the treasure of the stuff. 
Okay, you didn't hear it, but I heard the clang means she's got all the treasures of it. Oh. And let's just say that the couple was struggling where they're going. I feel kind of like her synced ish. This kind of reminds me of the Grease. You know, Grease? Yeah. I know where it's being for that. Here comes Officer Brian. Three, two, one. Do you see it, Beth? Yeah. <laughs> Did it talk to you? Yeah, we're good. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, but guess how many years was the Titanic sink? Uh, Beth? Hmm? Guess how many years was the Titanic sink? How many? Okay. Uh, what? Um, Three years old. Add 111. And I have to leave. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I like the Jika. <laughs> Yeah, Beth, guess what he's wearing? Guess what he's wearing? He's wearing the wedding ring of Captain Smith. Because she knows what it looks like because the photo. That's the ring that he's wearing. I was thinking maybe the, when I didn't possess him and the objects that he gave them, he and kill people. Uh, yeah. yeah. Do you remember the wife's name of Captain Smith? No. Sarah. Oh. See. It's not nice name. Yeah. Five. No views, no thumbs ups. Okay, if you're watching this, give me a thumbs up or watching this. I don't know. Okay. Okay, here she goes. Here we go. Back to her. See, that's him. That's her great grandfather. Oh. And what? She's gonna turn him into a ghost. There's this book. It didn't say anything, but there's some uh, witchcraft symbols and some weird spelling. We're actually going to take her, her book. Say hello. We all meet up again one day. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, the captain's going to talk to her fiance. About the wedding and stuff, because they're getting married. Oh. Plus, I don't know what happened to her. I think she died when the when uh, the dog great granddaughter didn't know that she's getting married. Like, whoops. She said, it wasn't my fault. It was the professor's fault. Ha! You don't have to marry into money back then. You worry about it. Uh... 
whether you was in love or not. Yeah, that's true. Okay, here's the couples. Yeah, okay, so here's the couples walking around in the the below deck of the Titanic. Yeah. No, but like, I love her dress. She's it's so beautiful, I'm white. I don't like her move one bit, Beth. Should we go home? Like, like my bum bum. Like my bum bum. Okay, here she is. You're gonna watch what you're gonna do with the pen. Witchcraft. What? She's gonna use her great grandfather. Father's ash on the book, and using her blood DNA test to bring her great grandfather alive. Oh, ah. <sighs> They can do more than what we think or what they let us know. They can reduplicate uh, famous people if they want to okay. from their DNA. Watch the hairpin. Watch the hairpin. Okay, watch. He's going to give you an hour's Beth. It's a bit wet. <laughs> Okay, do you see what she's gonna do to her hand? Slice it. Yep, and put it on the photo. <laughs> do you see it? Yeah. She's just... Oh, bloody hell, she's done it bad, hasn't she? She's going to bring him back to life and her great-grandfather will bring the victims back to life as well. <laughs> I was going to say fake blood because they're trying to find a, the ketchup. They went out. <laughs> Do you see what she's doing? Weird thing. Yeah, she's stroking her blood in her face. <laughs> what? She's trying to be like Kev, Carrie. You know that film where... Uh, yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Watch. She says Dark God, which means they're nearer to the grave of the icebergs. As you guys can tell that I can't show you on live stream and I'm sorry because I'm showing my sister the movie on Titanic 666. It's up to you to watch it from your from the app, the movie film series app, or uh, YouTube, or if you have a DVD, go watch it. If you don't know the name, um they actually type the name wrong. It's Titanic 666, not Titanic Titanic rises because if it spells it in wrong then here you go here's the message titanic six 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 
<laughs> Excuse me. And I'll be a bath. Um, everyone thought that it was Professor's fault that he killed the couple. <laughs> Oh, is that Charles and what's her name? Which? Them two, the bloggers. I don't know. I think they say, she says Shannon, which means they're teenager dar. So it's, I don't know. Like, have a house party, like, woo, I'm having a party. Just imagine if she doesn't know what happened to her mom and dad and said that they died in the time to be three. Rest in peace. Yeah. Watch. He says he has a blue diamond. How does he get the blue diamond? No, but I like the idea to record it, the movie, on the Queen Mary. It was awesome. And then emanated to Titanic 3. I love that. I guess this. This says that the captain says, um, you can study with that, but I'm afraid you can't do the put the boats on top of the ceiling. That would be bad. Okay, they know that they know that the grave of the Titanic and the iceberg is dangerous, so they stop there. But apparently, the great granddaughter of Captain Smith turned the ship on. No one knows how to turn it off and heads straight towards the icebergs. Okay, watch, watch what happens. Watch closely. Okay, do a moment of silence, and this happens. You see what she's doing? She's a witch. More like a possessed girl. That I think she wished she wanted to meet her great grandfather instead of dying in the Titanic. Do you see? Do you see? Do you see who's that? Yeah. Say hello to Captain Edward Smith's ghost. He has no eyes. Watch, he turns around, greet his great granddaughter, and realize what's going on. I get with Venge. Watch. He's like, Hello, who are you? <laughs> okay, watch what happens when they raise their hands to each other. Okay, watch. Do you see what they do? Do you see it? Yeah. Watch. There's someone. Read what it says. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. Raise his arms up. Get ready for his. Yeah, watch. Okay. 
Do you see what he's doing? Yeah. What is he doing? Some weird cuss. Um, Wong, he's bringing the victims back to life as well. See, there's a violin in guy. And when he's doing that, he's doing like a shriek. Means he's like a, I don't know, the ghost violin screaming. I don't know. Great granddaughter. Great granddaughter. They're recording this as an evidence to, start, to show everyone what's going on on the ship. Like, are they dead or missing? That's the thing. Okay, watch when the power goes out. Do you see that? Yeah. That means it's begun. Okay, now he's doing it all night. You don't know what he's doing, do you? Oh my god. He's doing the death silence of your god to be. Or near my god to be. What? I know what it does that. No! No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. I'm begging you. I kiss you. Thank you. Okay, Jackson's gone. Mia's one's left. And for, for God's sake. I hate when it's happened. Oh god. What else am I looking at? Oh, I'm going back to the beginning. Whoops. Oh my god. Okay, what was that? Oh yeah, it was like uh, Mia was trapped there when uh, Jackie's was gone. I think. Almost there. Are you tired? I'm not bored to you. Yeah. Huh? Good to know. Uh -huh. You got wrinkles. Beth? Hmm? That's the rotten skin. Like a flesh. Oh god! Yeah, well. Uh. <laughs> oh my god! I'm terrified! <laughs> oh my god, it's been over on my screen. I'm sorry guys. It's like, it's like, it's like, it. He's like, give the camera to me. <laughs> so right. filming me. Watch again. He takes Jackson away, means he's dead it's first, fine. and now Mia's next. Everyone doesn't know what's going on. Like the other side of the Titanic, they can't hear it, but the past the crew and Mia heard it, but not Jackson. Jackson's the only one who didn't hear it. Do you see the mist everywhere? Do you see the mist everywhere? Yeah. That means they're not near the mist of the icebergs. Which means it's a ghost mist. He can't see it. She can barely see it. Oh my god, I hate it now, I hate it now, I hate it now. Sorry about this, Beth, I have no idea what's going on. It's okay. Wakey wakey! Speed up! <laughs> Sorry about that, I don't know, I don't know what's going on, oh there you go. Okay, watch. She's gonna tell everyone what's going on, and then the ghost appear in front of her and killed her for the last strike of the final way. I, 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 um, 
Why does this happening to me? I'm just all in the system around all of this. Mm -hmm. She was about to say, I'm about to freak out, but all of a sudden it goes up here and you're like, what? Here he is. He's back. The following guy. I'm not going to fall if not, so if Pig and Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> that was the mouth of my eyes. Uh, <laughs> More like Golden Freddy Fazbear. Yeah, oh god. He's angry. He wants revenge so with his friends. Yeah, I mean, it's like, uh, who are you? I didn't see you before, but who are you? <laughs> oh my. Uh, this app is so dumb. Dum dum dum. Stop it. Dum, dum, green giant. Okay, I wish I have another app because this app is suck. I keep an eye on you, phone. I keep an eye on you. Okay, this is embarrassing. Yes. Yeah. I um, I mouth talk my I got rid of my mouth and I talk it and the viewers saw it. She remembers what happened, like having a flashback, I think. Yeah. And, wait for it. Okay, do you see what he's doing? Making people die. He killed Mia. Oh. Well. What? See? Yeah. How is this supposed to be done now? <laughs> that means she's the first ghost victim of Titanic. And do you want to know where Jackson is? Where? Nowhere. That means he's in the water, froze to death. And wait for me uh, to be with him. But at the bridge, Parker tries to figure out what's wrong with the weather system because they're acting weird outside the mist of the icebergs. Yeah. Yeah. Meaning there's something wrong with it, and he tried to call the captain. Uh, um, he can't hear any. Sorry, I'm gonna hear cups. He can't hear anything. All he hears is that he's like, "Okay, <laughs> watch." Oh, and Regina saw something in the monitors. Wait for it. Wait for it. Look at the monitor. Look at the monitor. Do you see it? Yeah. Do you know what is that? Hmm? Do you know what is that? No. I was thinking maybe it's Captain Smith, his crew, the following guy of the victims of the Titanic. Or the bowler guy. Yeah. We should have done what happened because her memory is away. like she's thinking maybe I'm dreaming. So I'm going to move on. Okay. Do you see what he's doing? He tried to call the captain, but he can't hear anything. All he hears is status and the violin music in it, which means someone or something blocked the signal. Oh. So he's going to crap the captain from the gala 
so she's gonna okay do you see the boat yeah it's the one's the most terrifying that you're not gonna like it at the end Okay, watch. Keep your hand on the victims. So, what do you think about the girls? Was like, were they angry or happy? Angry. Yep. Obviously. Because one of the girls will snap her hair off. No offense. Okay, here comes the securities and this found me a stone on the ground with no husband in sight and do you know what i was thinking well, i was thinking that they think jackson killed her hopped on the lifeboat and rode away i mean you didn't bring a gun we didn't see a gun did we guys no we don't Okay, she thinks what's going on, and he said he tried to call him her on the radio and show her what's going on. Okay, do you see what happened? Yeah. He said it was like five to ten minutes. And of course, Brian came in and said, Captain, you need to see for yourself. I can't see in front of you. She'll scare your crew. So she says, I'm not sure if I go back to the gala because I need to recheck to them to make sure what's going on. Yeah. Oh. Here they are. Amir's her body. Okay, Hector's came. He wants to know what's going on because he's half a little wet with the captain. And that's what he found out. Okay, that guy. That guy, Sykes. That's his name. Yeah. He knows something was wrong. Because he thinks that maybe we're too close to the icebergs or the grave or the treasures was haunted. All right, here's the baller guy. He's a baller guy. Do you see what he's doing with the laptop? Um, he's doing the heat of the heat system of the Titanic. You know, the boilers, uh, the steam yeah. on top of the ship. Yeah. That's how they to reduce the heat and let every ship know where ship's going. Now time to eat my spaghetti hoops. I love my spaghetti hoops. Look what I have Oh. But what? Do you see Dr. Smith just walk by? Yeah. He said, get out or we'll kill you. He tried to get out, have a word with the captain, and he said, oh wait, we have a captain on board, never mind. I'll kill you. Okay, right. watch, watch. <laughs> Do you like it? Duh. Doesn't matter you watch that on Halloween. <laughs> okay, the watch the video clips about what where's Jackson and what happened to her and who's involved. Do who understand it, but don't understand what's going on. 
it was like maybe there's a radio. It was going like. Brr, 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 brr. Yeah. I dropped my spaghetti hoops on my bed. Oh. I got it now. Okay. One of them says that she saw something, which means he was thinking maybe he saw, she saw Jackson, like in Burbo or something. Okay. They don't see anything, but watch closely. Watch on the screen. Do you see who is that? Yeah. That's the that's the filing guy. They can't see him because he's invisible on the video, on the phone. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it does make sense now. Ghosts can't caught on camera unless there's movement. She was in love with him. <laughs> okay, Brian knows what he's up to and thinking maybe he killed her and take Jackson away. And what? Listen, look, look at the title. You never guess what it says. What? He says, "Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Selfie Stick." Okay. Oh, yeah, Mr. Selfie Stick. Oh. I'm gonna shop for What is that? That's so cool, okay? Make sure don't get killed by Carfield. That's all for me. Oh. Oh, there. He lies. And... What? Uh, huh? What? Oh. That's already mine. Hold <laughs> 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 on, I'll be talking. Hey. Do you want me to pause the video? I can't hear what she says. How come you dry already? We do have a Sydney question. Yeah, I'm going to call. Okay. Yeah. Hector shows him the security footage and knows that he's lying. And, um, Hector. Brian's idea was like take him to the room, just like what happens in the movie, which is a movie. Oh, yeah. This is they could have like. Yeah, he tried to tell them about it, and what I did. The great granddaughter of Captain Smith moved the ship. Now, do you see? Yeah. The boat is moving towards the fog. Oh, I do know what the the fog of icebergs. How amazing was that? Yeah. And besides, the captain knows they're moving because something was wrong. So I think it. If it wasn't Professor, then who the hell was it? Can't you see I'm running where I'm running? Why 
so beautifully here. I bet because this. Beth? Oh, um, he knows that the professor knows what boy wants. He wants money for the treasure of the Titanic. Dun dun dun. No fear. He's got to be careful what he's going to say. No fear. The professor knows, didn't know that the ghost was listening to him. Okay, do you see the Titanic three goes? Yeah. She thought that Parker started the mo thinking he's moving it. Oh. I think her idea was like drive the Titanic three in front of it and go back. You better, do you see how many icebergs there were? I say about hundred or fifty. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, Beth, watch what happens. Remember the lady with the necklace on. Yeah. Watch. There's the victim. She owns the necklace. She's only wearing the wearing it on show. Belongs to the chap who's who was supposed to be married. She's mad now and killed her. This is special effects. Huh? You see the effect? Yeah. It's so awesome, isn't it? And she's dead. Uh, oh, poor well, lady. What is it? Uh, Beth. You do realize I'm live streaming? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'll be right back. I'm gonna put the rubbish and plates downstairs. Oh, merch. Must be found the body. My sister doesn't like the head chopped off. Am I right, Bethany? Yeah. 
As you guys already know, that right here in the UK and US, um, they have Titanic hotels, restaurants, cafe, and the museum. And then, I'll be right back. Just enjoy the movie on my phone. Yep. Oh, that's what I forgot. I need to drop my sleep. My, my fork. Engine is down, like explode, like.
the chambers. Just the power went out. Yeah. Wait a minute. Based on new expedition, scientists believe that the Titanic has only 30 years left before it completely disappeared and returned to sea. Oh, wait. oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, there's some sound and I need to get my book. Here comes the ghost. Here comes the ghost. Hello, my lovely friend. You see, he tried to call to help, but no one's answering. What the hell? He says, come to me. Oh. Need to make sure it is, guys. It's almost really long. So twenty twenty three. Uh, you see, Nancy tries to explain the captain. What happened? Like, look carefully of it. She said, "That's the light of the ghost." They didn't see. They didn't see the file. Following guy. Come on, let me please be right, please. Please be, please be right. You see, Brian take Nancy to his her room and yeah. found the professor lying on the ground with Sykes. I 
Just bear with me, guys. I need to make sure that I know how many years I think. sink. Um, I don't know, yeah. So, what is... How hundred years over that? Well, one hundred and eleven. Eleven years. Let me see. Hundred and eleven years. Okay, I tried every internet. And I didn't say anything. All of this says three nine three five. Try searching uh, how many years ago since the Titanic sank. Okay. How many years since the Titanic sank? Sank. S-I-N-K. I know how to spell sank. Come on. Show me. Still no. Let me try Google. Do be weird if I ask. Okay. Uh... I should say, it's been saying so, it's been like 111 years. Because it sank, like, the ship sank in 1912. Wait, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh no. Yeah, we did. Um, 11 years, yeah, 111 years. Okay, so in 2022, 1912 was 110 years ago, so Beth, you're right, it is 111. Which means the Titanic is about 114 years old. You didn't know? I said 111. Uh. Max. Hold on. Um, what year was 31st March 1909? <laughs> Okay, so it took me if I calculated and if I'm correct, if I click twenty well, I don't know. Oh I I think that's hold on. How many year was yeah? I think I've been enjoying it that much. I've got food around my nose. Two! Guys, bear me a sec. Uh, okay. Yeah, Dad, I went to this new uh, chippy. I'm first. I asked for a chicken bag. Uh, and I so uh, ketchup three, and chicken my lettuce. 19. Oh, uh, nine. Okay, this is what happens. <laughs> Beth, I was right, Titanic is 114 years old. Which means it was 111 years ago 
when she sank as three years old. Huh. All right, guys. Yay! Okay, do you see she's threatening the professor? Yeah. She told him that Captain Edward John Smith is her great grandfather, which means do you want to do you know what it means? She it means she picks the right victim to kill the professor. Well, kill everyone sight. No fear. Um, Hector died, which means the guy in the engine room killed him. Well, killed the the guy first, and then him. Okay, watch, watch. Okay. Beth, do you remember at the end of the hall of the Queen Mary? There was a ghost figure shadows at the end of the hall. Yeah. Say hello to the guy of the Titanic. <laughs> it was really loud. Hi, Dad. He looks a bit like Nan. <laughs> no lie. He's got the nose. <laughs> yeah, Beth. Yeah. Do you remember that I got eleven subscribers? Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks to my friend Billy. He says, "Why don't you do something different, like what we are doing right now?" Yeah, friends. Oh, the Titanic. Thank you, Ghost Boy. Ghost Boy. <laughs> oh my God, you're saying that. As you guys didn't know, as you guys didn't know, right here in Titanic 666, they put Ghost on the end of the ending credits and the name of who's playing the Ghost Victims. Here we are, back where we were. I'm going to shop. Yeah. She's in jail. Oh no, they'll be out, Dad. Yes, I'll be washed up when I come back. Yes, I will. Let me just find a picture in there. Um. You see? See? She says he's not the one he told me. It was my great grandfather who heard, heard the whole thing. You see? He was trying to get rid of the devil, but she said, Sorry, pal, you're in the haunted sea. No one can hear you. Oh. And say hello to my great grandfather, Edward John Smith. Yo, Ben, you're gonna see what's going on. You see, Brian's. Brian's wet his pants now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you see what he's just done? But yeah. he tried to shoot the guns, but it shoot back. <laughs> Wait for it. You see what he's doing? He's possessing her. I 
and it's going to turn the power off in three, two, one. Okay, Beth, watch, watch. Ready, ready. Ready, ready. Did you see who's that? Yeah. Here he goes. And here we go. This is what she's doing. And Catherine Smith, formerly Hancock Marsh, oh. husband of Sarah Eleanor Smith, oh. father of Helen Melville Russell Cook. Hey, it's a possibility, I think, it uh, links along the lines. Where is he from? Uh, where is he from? Uh, where is he from? Sir Contran. Oh, possibility. He was born on, ah, he was born on January the 27th, 1850. Possibility. Mm. That would make him, mm. your name is Great Uncle. Yeah. <laughs> Elizabeth Toms. 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 I'm going to have a look at my family tree things in here. What's happening? I can't understand the problem. Alright. Okay. Watch. Okay. Sykes tried to stand up, but he's losing too much blood and then goes killed in like Grayson please. Whoa, let me go Your best. Here comes the ghost to kill Sykes.
his So Beth, yeah. what do you think, what's going to happen on Titanic 4? Titanic 4, I don't know. Me neither, but we're going to wait. There we go, she summoned the door on the captain's face and headed towards the iceberg. What's her face? Do you see? Yeah. When she's been possessed, that means Edward knows that he's listening to her. She's ignore him, her, and head towards it. Yes? You know Captain Edward? Yes? His last words, uh, his last message to the crew was be British. That's what I said on the newspaper! Okay, watch what happens. Watch what happens. Okay. She's gonna wear the wing. I remember the pin, the hair pin. Watch. Three, two, one. Do you see? That means it's no choice but the Titanic 3 hit the iceberg. Iceberg 3. <laughs> So, what do you think? That's so good, yeah. You like it? Yeah. Not the last time we watched was I'm going to be feel horror and you hated it.
Okay, to see what happens. Here comes Mia. You see her? Yeah. She's gonna kill Brian because she knows he's stealing the money. Oh, the treasure, I should say. Here it goes. And boom. Yo. Guess what? Someone saw it and didn't see me, yeah? <laughs> you see, he saw something, but we didn't see it. Comment down below if you saw it on the iceberg on Titanic 6. Six, six. Do you see it, Beth? Yeah. Do you see the ghost on the iceberg? Yeah. Are you lying? No. How come you see it? Where is it? Was it on top or in the middle? Oh, uh, that's boy. Here goes Titanic 3 to join Titanic 2, Titanic, Britannic, and Olympic. Get back. Yeah. Got back to your pants. Ah. Oh. Nothing. Nothing, guys. I didn't know that my sister. Loves it, the horror version of the Titanic. Um, whoever did this, I think it's David Mit. I think it's David Mitchell. I think it is David Mitchell Platt. Thank you so much for the horror film of the Titanic 666. I love it. Do you love it, Beth? Yeah, it's not. You're gonna see what happens to the boat. I forgot about the boat. Oh, it's, you're gonna hate it. You're gonna hate it. Okay, here's Julie, Julie McAnoy, and here's Brian. Okay, watch. I hate when it does that. Okay. You see, she. Thought that he was a bit seasick because of his eyes, but he, yeah. she was wrong. He's dead, like dead, dead, dead. Okay, what's the boat? What's the boat? 
Do you see him move? Do you see the? Do you see him move? Yeah. Okay, what? This is gonna be. This is make you gonna make you sick. Three, two. I was counting down, phone. I was counting down. I was counting down. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Do you see it? Yeah. She's squashed. <laughs> she squashed it then. You better remember that we're hassling each other, like. But, no, wait, I remember that when mom tickled us when we were kids, yeah? When you yeah. she tickle your side, you turn the other side and your neck just grabs on my neck. <laughs> like. I thought I was gonna die by your neck. <laughs> anyway, um, Professor saved the little girl's life because you're gonna see it a bit. Oh, ah! I hated this app. Comment down below, guys. I need your help to find the better app because this app is sucks. Okay, wait for it, wait for it to see it. Do you see it? Yeah. The pipe was about to hit the little girl. Do you see it? Yeah, I can see. Your bed? I'm just gonna keep me because this is on. It's okay. Nobody, I hate this app. This app is sucks. Oh my god! Every single tongue. Your birth? Guess how many lives we have to do? Well, we're done. Huh? Guess how many lives we were on now? Hello. Four hours. <laughs> okay, here he goes. He helping the passengers to get on board. Oh my god, it's up! Oh my god, I was about to show my sister the good bit that Captain Smith appeared next to him. And. Oh, 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 oh. I remembered. The professor's been shot, and I was thinking maybe it was Captain Smith because. Of Brian should try to shoot him, and all of a sudden, it shoot the professor. You see, he saw him. He was like, "Uh oh, help me, God, help me, help me!" You see, she's gonna die on the ship. Well, we'll see. Oh, oh watch, watch, watch. That's gonna be horrifying. Okay, Nancy sees the captain. No, you don't. Do you see it? Boat. Yeah, Nancy died. Rest in peace, Nancy. Hopefully, she'll join my, Mia and Jackson in heaven. No, I tried to find the delete scene of Titanic 666. Nothing happened. 
So Jaffa's <sighs> energy milkshake. Energy milkshake. Sha la 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 my oh my Oh my god, this app. <laughs> it's guys, it's freaking loading. I hate the screen. I need to oh. Oh. Hello? Hello? I thought I heard someone in the house. Your best. Yeah. Do you know what I think? I think uh, when she died, the window will be cancelled. Yeah. I feel bad for Michael. What if he goes out there Michael. and tries to find her? Oh, but yeah. There she goes. Here goes Titanic 3. And here. Okay, do you see inside? Yeah. Do you see on the bridge? Yeah. Do you know who it is? Who? So they begin with E, J, S, and he's a captain. Edward. Yep. No, he looks fine. I do know he looks fine. Oh, that's weird that he's just standing there. I think he watched the Titanic go down and then died. But die, die, not die. No, I tried to Google about how to get rid of the... How do you rest in peace the spirit? Did they say nothing about it? Oh yeah, I did see the back. Do you see what the back says, Beth? Yeah. It says Titanic 3, you New York. Oh dear. Uh oh. Okay, here's the professor on the lifeboat. That's a professor. Give it, that's not what the professor looks like. No. Okay, he's on the lifeboat and he's bleeding, freezing to death. No fear. He has bullets in his chest. He's the blood stain. Yeah. He's bleeding to death and frozen. Three lights finish. Three lights finish. Uh, no. Look, here she is. Now, do you think she's safe? And do you know what I was thinking? Do you know what I was thinking? I was thinking maybe their stuff is haunted now, so that means they've become the ghost too, which it doesn't like to be like. Okay, do you think it's over, the ghost? Well, let's see you right or wrong. 
Mo ha 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 ha. I've tried to charge my phone and it's on one percent and it was on thirty. My phone was at thirty-three. Okay. Do you see the professor? Yeah. Is he dead? Looks like it. Now, do you think it's over? No. Yeah, that's right. Because the professor became the ghost and killed the captain. The end. No happy ending. Pig in the zombie time. <laughs> Which one? Are they just dying then turning into like weird ass ghosts? Yeah. Do you know what I was thinking? But, As ghosts, you can't see them, right? Yeah. But a zombie, you can't see them. So they put together as half zombie, half ghost. Yeah. Half zombie, half ghost. <laughs> Come on. So wakey, wakey. Oh, here we go. Okay, Beth, brace yourself. Isn't he? I can say. Brace yourself. Brace yourself. Come on. Hello. Okay. Hello. It's the loading screen, Beth. Hold on. I'm gonna check it back. You should be where you should keep the tab for the cards of the screen, like you. Yes. You barely missed it! No, I haven't. I'm not too much. I'm in the orchard, the apple trees down there, orchard. Yeah. Oh, she did. Okay, I'm back. We found our dubs down there. Oh, yeah. There was a lion there escaped from the zoo. Oh, yeah. But they shot him and the orchard. Yeah. And they found him dead. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Titanic 50, 1953, which I already got. Unhappily married, Julia Stroach decided to go to America with her two children on the Titanic. Her husband Richard also arranged passage on the luxury liner so as to custody of their two children. All this fades to insignificant once the ship hits an iceberg. And the other one is, you might have seen Titanic 66 years ago. And here's the title A man after mammoth cruises ship sails over the site of this, this titanic disaster dark a deadly events start to occur aboard as the ship's captain investigate the tragic occurrences occurrences it becomes clear that the passengers and crew of the original titanic have returned And hold on, let me stop Googling. Uh, I'm anyway, I saw my sister the video, the film of Titanic Six Six Six. If it's, it's up to you to watch Titanic Six 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 on the phone app youtube videos or youtube channel and the film that you have or not it's gonna be a while so, i don't call it this is a thumbnail I know that's again. How am I doing? I'm doing fine. Oh my god! 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 Oh my my channel. So I can show you guys. Took all up in views and guys. Thank you. 
Hello. 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 <laughs> oh. oh wait, it's going to be amazing. Okay, guys, I know you're thinking, um, it's a copyright, but unfortunately, I um off the screen recorder with my phone. That's how I use it on uh, in Pokemon Apple. It, I gotta put my phone off. It usually works and. Hi! Hello! So, what do you think of Titanic 666? It was good to be fair. Yeah. It reminds me of Flight 666, but I didn't know they make Titanic 666. So, thank you to. I think it's. David Mitchell Platt. Hold on. Oh, for much sake. Let's see who made it. Um. Oh, wait, I think it's Nick Leon. Leon. That was directed by. Oh, that was directed by. Um. David Mitchell Plaid, but I was wrong. Sorry. And um, here's some celebrities. Yeah. What are you doing? That's big. What? Okay, so <laughs> sorry, my sister. Hello, my chicken beef. Real as a kid. Well, two days ago. So we're gonna say rest in peace to the one thousand five hundred. I forgot money. Yeah. So recipes, one thousand five hundred and seventeen people. But I think um when six seven hundred and six people die as well from their old ages and goes to heaven with the Titanic is. I mean you never know. You never know when that the god created up. You bet. She like it. Yes, yeah. Anyway, um, let's just talk about which room of the Titanic you want to be in. Beth, mm-hmm. your turn. Which room do you want to be in the Titanic? Trust us. The first class. Oh yeah. Why do you want to be in the first class? Christian. <laughs> <laughs> you get to look nice. You get to have popularity. Yeah. And if you guys want to try out the foods of the Titanic, it will be in the cafe and a restaurant, I think, of the hotel of the Titanic. Or just getting from the shop. 
ordering it from a shop. That you gotta be joking. They don't know how to make it. Oh, yeah. Oh man, I would love strawberries and cream with a bit of chocolate. Strawberries and custard. Yo, cold custard is amazing. Sorry about that. You know what? We haven't had uh, night in a while. What? Jelly with beef in. A what? Jelly with beef. Oh. Jelly with fruit in. Yeah. So My favorite bit of the Titanic is the bridge because I love to be in charge of the ship to set sail across the sea and beware of the disasters like tsunami, whirlpool. But then you don't know. But then he knows what whirlpool is, but she doesn't know the name of it. So we needed whirlpool because it's named the half tornado, half pool. Let's see. And also beware of the icebergs. Yeah, let's talk about beware of the iceberg. Ben. And beware of my wish. If you spotted the iceberg, what did you do when you're too far from it? <laughs> you didn't realize you'd be freeze to death in the Atlantic Ocean. What kind of voice is that? I want to go to Paris now. You do realize how much it is? For how cost it is? Yeah, that you could have gone to Dubai. 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 We should go away with a friend and what's happened to that friend now? That's not what was going on. That was before that. I just didn't feel like it was the right time for me to do that. Either. I do it at some point. Yeah, but uh, now at some point, Dave, you know, you've got to take a walk and when the opportunities are there. Mm -hmm. So basically, oh. my, my friend Tyler went to Paris. Does it? No. Um, um, look at that. Turns up involved there, yeah. No, she don't need that. She's just there for a vacation. Okay. Um, in my theory, um, if I saw the Titanic in the telescope, I'll say go left, and they yeah. did, and I say, and I say, if you saw an iceberg one more time, I'll take you to clean. The boiler room. <laughs> I'm gonna face this face, guys. I'm gonna face. <laughs> Ow! Break your neck. Punch. I hit my bed. I hit my head against the wall. I just missed my bed. Head. Watch it. I am watching it. I didn't see it. Watch it, woman. Okay. If you saw the ghost from the original Titanic, what do you do? Put the treasure away, or let them kill you? I'll get more treasure anyway, so I'll just leave it. You'll be dead? No, I said leave the treasure behind and get some more. Beth? You do realise that. Within your reach, grab it. Both hands. Throw it in the ocean. Thank you! Keep it and die. What do you think? I'll get, I'll get like a, a white, like, 
a white diamond baseball bat and dive along with it. White baseball bat. Ooh. That looks so nice. What my hair? Oh. oh. Some weird scones. That looks ever so nice. What's the thing? I've been to the show a hundred times and this happened. Hair? Water has caused the hair growth with the shampoo and conditioner. Oh. My theory of this was save the prey, work to the ghost, and throw the treasure into the ocean and never. Sorry. I never take the treasure from the bottom of Titanic's grave again. I mean, I saw the video that say that the museum, the director of Titanic Museum says, hey, hello, I need to, sp- to talk to the doctor of the science. Yes, hello. We just need um, some materials for the Titanic, the pieces of the Titanic. Yeah, the gear, the treasure, the life jacket, everything. Yeah, he found it with the window bit. Thank you, bye. And I was thinking, wait, hold on. Beth? Ah. Do you think that the pieces of the Titanic, yeah, That's yeah. do you think the pieces of the Titanic cost to haunted to museum in America? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> of the titanic but me and my sister are so excited to do live stream together that's the thing and now she's t- and now she's doing dull boy's face sorry david jason i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry sorry Ooh. Ooh. No offense, people, but if you if the Titanic getting closer to the iceberg, what did you do? Brace yourself or tell everyone to say lifeboats, lifeboats, get to your lifeboats, we're about twenty meters away. I jump in the lifeboat myself. Yeah, but what about the passengers? If you escape, they die. I scream. I scream. I scream. I remember that truck with uh, Michelle, uh, <laughs> Lauren, and Kelly, and you had when you was little. You still check it. I scream. I scream. <laughs> <laughs> Every time uh, a nice truck used to come, I used to run after it, and I okay, I would run to mom's, ask for some money, then get go chase the van, then get me and you an ice cream while Lauren was out like with the Rexes. Yeah, no fear. I I remember that the ice cream drive van drive past our street. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. How come the ice cream fan drive past us? Went after it. It's gonna stop now and again, anyways. Do you think he says, "I'm sorry, I'm just changed the schedule. I didn't see you there." No, he'll just stop for you. He's so nice enough. That one time I waved at the ice cream man. 
they stopped off for me. I went, oh, can I have um, a feast then with a flake? So literally, you got me a free flake. Remember when mum used to uh, eat those feasts? The feasts? The feast ice creams. Oh! The ones. Yeah, I know what you mean. I like them. Yeah. You guys, comment down below what's your favourite ice cream. I know what I'm thinking. Oh, yo, bet. Bet. Yeah. Maybe this will... Maybe. My guess is that if the cafe or the restaurant named the ice cream after the iceberg, what do you think? Probably do. If is, someone's... Can you name an ice cream? If someone's watching this, um... It's up to you. It's up to you to decide if you agree to make ice the secret ingredient ice cream iceberg with the flav different flavors of it like chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, uh, mint. Salad. Yeah, but is there a dark chocolate of the ice cream or no? I don't know. Oh, you can actually have an alcoholic uh, smush. I just realised that. Oh yeah. Vodka. Oh yeah. Or or slush. Or slush of the iceberg. Yo, bet. It will. Yo, bet. It will be cool if they make a plastic cup with a picture of the Titanic. Probably somebody will make a business. Yeah, like the factory, so that way they can be delivered or that. What call the Titanic and the iceberg? Yeah, like, or iceberg, Titanic hit the iceberg, the like, iceberg. The Titanic and the iceberg. Yeah. Titanic and the iceberg, ice sources. You know, you know what I've used to do? Yeah. You know, where was it? Oh dear, that was... Oh, right. Yeah. Did it? Da, 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 da. What, what was her name? Oh, Diana Blackie. Oh, Blackie. Diane. Oh, the place has already been sold. I just, I literally got off the bus and oh, I had it, it uh, refurbished and everything. Oh. They're getting it ready. But if you want, I can have a look and see if there's any available places. So I'll just let Julie know that that was empty. It was empty for a while, weren't it, Kelly? The place by the marketplace. What, Diane's? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think they make... Oh, man. Yo, Beth, I really, really wish that will be a Titanic cafe. That'll be awesome. I think she's moved down to Howzo, you know. But the Giants Cafe. Yeah. Man. I was looking for my When are you next at work? Hmm? When are you next at work? Um, Saturday. My next Saturday. Oh, so you work once a week? Yep. Plus, I bet my new manager, Claire, says, but don't you... Work for the day if you don't have college and stuff. You don't go to college no more, don't you? Nope, but uh, thanks to my ex, he ruined my future and stuff. I mean, you can go back to college to do your English and math. But I'm finishing English and math because I got a certificate by right then. Okay, guys, I got a certificate by right then, so was that. Did you pass? Yeah. Okay. I just can't like um. Oh, yeah, fly, I just can't take the photo to Facebook, so I use this. And that. Uh... <laughs> oh. Don't believe this my name, right? And yeah, here's that. that. So yeah.
No fear, Beth. I think they've watched my videos about what's going on between me and Elliot. No fear, just... Also... I would say... You're better off without him, to be fair. Yeah, if he makes mistakes, then... You don't know what he's gonna do. I mean, that's three years wasted. Like, it's his loss, not yours. Yeah. I mean, not fair. He knows that he's. He knows that he's my first. How can he do that to me? Right. Oh. Uh, okay. What? What? I'm just looking at some cafes. That's for sale for my dad's friend. Oh. What's that on your phone? Twenty-five. You about to have an idea. Make a business like in a van or something, like a caravan kind of thing. Beth, I want to do. How about we ask ten questions? Put my thumb fingers up, like ten for me, ten for Beth. Or if Beth's gonna do that, but she can't. She's smoking. She's gonna do that in her mind. And uh, if we say the correct answer of the Titanic. It's up to you guys to do it so. It's, it's okay to do it so. You can do it. No. Yeah. Okay. Um, who believes the history of the Titanic? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If we're right, we keep our fingers up. If we're wrong, fingers down. Okay. Um, what's the name of the captain of the Titanic? I'll say Edward Smith. The age of 65. Well, no, wait, 62. <laughs> My bad. Um... How many crews were there in the Titanic? Uh, um, when we watched the movie, there was like 30 or 40 crews. I don't know. What did they bet? Oh, I don't know. Okay, uh, let's see what it says. What? How many crews were there? And yeah, how many crew were there on the Titanic? Oh my god. How much? 908. So we're close. So yeah. fingers down. I'm down to nine. She's down to nine. Um, how many passengers on board? From A to D. Hold up. Was there a D deck on the Titanic? No. I think there is. Um, what price is she looking for? Like, is it the asking price, the turnover, or the net profit? Is the asking about uh the questions of the Titanic of, of it? Dad. Dad, what is she? What is Julie looking for? The asking price, the turnover, or the net profit? <laughs> Okay, I typed it, and we should take a guess. Um, it says about two thousand, right? Yeah. So two thousand and sixty. Oh wait, two thousand and six hundred and seventy. Oh. What do you think? Oh. Uh. Uh. 
know. Let's see who's right. Don't know. Holy crap. There's so many. Okay. Uh, Microsoft Bing doesn't help, so let's ask Google. Curse you, Bing. How many passengers? What passengers? Passengers on a tie on tie tie. Thank you, Google. I forgot about that. Oh, I was so I was nearly close, Beth. Huh? It's two hundred forty. No, wait, two thousand two hundred forty. So that means nine hundred and eight crews went on board, and two thousand two hundred and forty people on board. So. I was nearly right, so fingers down. Oh, I think it's fingers down. I don't know. Um, you better. Do you have any questions about the Titanic? No, I can think of them. Oh, okay. How far is the iceberg? Oh. Twenty oh, yeah, meters. Oh wait, no. The movie says that um, when a Titanic sets sail, it's like it's like a hundred all the way to the edges of it. So I'm guessing. Way meter than that. Yeah. Like, is it about? 40 inches or 30 inches closer of the distance. So I bet Bethany barely knows. So let's see. How far is the iceberg when the Titanic? Getting closer. <laughs> oh, my oh God. Stopping the ship would have required a half a mile, a half mile, eight hundred and Four point seven meters. The iceberg loomed closely at only nine hundred feet, two hundred and seventy four meters from the ship. Oh my god, no wonder, no wonder that the crew didn't see it upon deck. They're lazy though. Um. How many children were there when they are alive? Was it about 20? Yeah. Um, I'll show about 100 something. 136. Okay. How many stupid locations? Thank you. Not how. How many children survived? The Titanic. Oh God. Okay, there were one hundred and twenty-eight children aboard the ship, which means that makes sixty-seven survived. And yo, guess that yo, listen to this. The youngest Titanic survivor was just two months old. Her name was Melvina Dean. She was like, um, she survived. 
So my finger's down. I think her finger's down, down. Um, how many women survived? I'm guessing more than children. What do you think, Beth? Uh, what was the question again? How many women survived on the Titanic? Um, sure. Yes, take your time. What the heck? How many women survived the Titanic? I don't know about 16. Um, of the woman, I mean, of the 466 women on board, which means 339 survived on the lifeboat. Hold on, it says that 73% of women who made it safely back to shore. That's weird. That's weird. Well, not weird, but, weird, but I think a guy of white. So, so. Uh, uh, wait, how many questions was there? I think I'm down. We're down to seven questions. Uh, oh wait, four questions. Not bad. Um, um, how many men, men survived the Titanic? Survive Titanic. Uh, yeah. half and half, half, and half then half women and children. children. What do you think? Uh, 7.5. 7.5? Yeah. 7. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Holy cow! Three hundred and twenty-five men survived. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing, guys. Um, it looks like women is better than men. Okay. Um, the speech. What did the captain say who will go first on the lifeboat? That's question five. Sorry? Women and kids. Did he say kids? Women and kids. Children. <laughs> it is women and children. Okay. Um, question six. question six. What did the captain, did the captain say, to say to his crew to them? A. Men, you are welcome to stay or go, or B. I'll kill you all. I said A. <laughs> Just imagine that it's been cruel and then I don't know, but you both go to bad. I mean, what is it? So, like, what's it called? Hard, uh, Call of Duty. Yeah, that's. <laughs> so, what do you think? Um, a or B? A or B. Pass one. <laughs> Beth. Beth. Forgot to yeah. since A. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, oh, this one was oh an easy one. Um, question seven. What? What? All right, guys. By the way, I'm trying. I think I tried to put my fingers with thumbs down, but it's up to you. 
To decide. To decide. Um, um, who is, who is the, mysterious the mysterious the J. The J. Dawson. Dawson. Joseph. 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 Um, hello. Uh, hello. Do we all survive? Let me. Do we all. Men for the Titanic? For the Titanic. Is there love Jack? Is there Jack? Uh, Jackson. <laughs> Let's see. Who is the J. Dawson on the Titanic? Not Dawson, Jack Dawson, you Pluck. 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 Okay, as you guys didn't know, um, I saw this one, and it's a J Dawson. So I mean, it means that Jack Dawson isn't real. So they will place the gravestone and place the real stone to remember him by. So that's... I don't know who's going to head. Um, okay. Question 8. Who told the story about the Titanic? Beatrice Wood. Beth. Uh, I don't know. Take a guess. Take a guess. Um, Bob. Uh, I don't know. Bob. Okay, she particularly inspired the character of Rose D. Wood, Bocator in Jane Cameron's 1997 film, Titanic actor and director Reed. Oh! It's not the story. It's an autobiography. Huh? Autobiography, you know, like recording the tape and then send it to someone. That's James Cameron. Also, Barthrophy. Right now, guys, my sister's the key. Okay, 
story and autobiography. Same thing. So, um, question nine. How many people survived? Seven and six. Seven or six. Yeah. Yeah. Seven. Just reverse. You never said. What did you say? Seven. Yeah. It's 706. So if you say seven, that makes less survivor of the Titanic. And the last question is how many people were lost to the ship? One thousand five hundred and seventeen. Oh my god. I bet she didn't know. I bet she didn't know. And that's not what they. Any question, Beth? Huh? Any answer? Uh, uh, I meant death of the ship. Like how many? Two million. That makes the Titanic go. Two thousand. Two thousand. Yeah. Beth. That's yeah. less than two thousand. The correct answer is one hundred and sixty four. Eh? Is it one hundred and sixty four? One thousand and sixty four. One. The great answer is 1517. So I'll take that. Okay, guys. So my phone battery is about 20 percent. 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 On my phone. So, Ben? Do you have anything to say before you go? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Otherwise, I'll be watching you for your windows. Be nice. Uh, which means, uh, bully. bully. If you watch it, yes. Watch, watch it back. Watch it back. I know where you live. <laughs> 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 look under your bed or look inside your closet. I might be in your dad's closet. <laughs> Man, this is like this black from Black the Guardian. Anyways, you can go to check on Angel Dragon Lord. I'm hiding behind your curtains. Oh. Oh. Bye, bye, you. I'm watching you in your sleep. Okay. I'm behind you. Alright, I'll put my phone right here. Sneakling. Okay. Laptop. Anyway, thank you so much for watching on the anniversary of the Titanic. So, thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Like, right here. Where the top of the screen is, and comment down below about do you know what causes? No, wait, we already know what causes the Titanic. Um, what do you think Thomas Andrew was hiding something? I mean, Beth, we already know he's hiding something because I think one of the managers. Tried to talk to him and he didn't listen to him. 
like one of the mess like messenger. One of the messenger. One of the. I met one of the manager. Didn't listen to him that the Titanic isn't fixed yet. Because people's passes. I was thinking. Maybe one of the screw or the nail wasn't. You know. Dried out as I put the water in for the fire. But what a. So, so. Oh yeah, maybe that was oh, cause. Yeah. Oh yeah. No wonder why it says unsinkable. Anyway, I'll let you guys think what I think it is. We're like both six freaking hours. No, no wonder why I'm we're watching the fellow touch and X X X. So, when I post a video, I'm gonna wait about the my sister watching the film. If I write wrong, oh dear. And uh, press the subscribe button, hit the bell notification on if you enjoy this video. I'll see you tomorrow with. Five nights at Freddy's security breach. Freddy will be watching you. Tonight. Or bird trap or spring trap bullies. Anyway, good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Well, afternoon. Bye. Say bye, Beth. Bye.